At this inaugural Marriage of the Day, we are honored by the presence of our marriage patron, Sri M. Ratan Kumar Singh, who is also the president of the Manipur Football Association and the chef in mission Manipur for the North East Camps 2024. He is a former player, coach, and an apple. So welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are once again here live in Nagaland in Chumoke Dima, in the heartland of the northeastern states. It is the third Northeast Olympics. It is Nagaland in light blue against Tripura in dark blue. And it's a uh, home start for the home team. Early 9.15 kickoff here in Chumoke Dima. Slowly, as the day progresses, you will be seeing the stands gradually fill up for this tournament. It is an exciting moment in the Northeast Olympics. The start of everyone's favorite sport. It is football. It is Nagaland against Tripura, live here in Chumoke Dima. And of course, exclusively live here on Sportscast India. My name is Joel Williams. I'm going to be a commentator for the whole tournament with regards to football. And as you very well know, I'm a known entity, known quantity here in Nagaland. So let's try and enjoy the spectacle that these Northeastern Olympics have to offer us. All states bar Sikkim are partaking in the football tournament. So you have uh, Nagalan, Tripura, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, and so forth, Assam. 
So, this is the big game of the day for the home side. Of course, Nagaland in light blue and Tripura in dark blue. Nagaland start as favourites, perhaps, in this tournament, given the fact that they had a pretty decent uh, outing in the Santos Trophy. Of course, not all the players are the same players that partook in the Santos Trophy. But nevertheless, Nagaland playing at home with a raucous crown behind them. Well, they will be favourites, especially in this game. We're live here at Chumoke Dima, of course, and exclusively live at Sportscast India, all of the Northeastern Olympic football games. We have basketball. We have a host of different sports and uh, that we're going to be bringing you live throughout this week of entertainment, we can call it that. We are going to talk about the lineups shortly. As Tripura play the ball forward, early defending there to do by the Nagaland goalkeeper and back line. Eventually, they clear the ball away. So, the uh, lineups for Nagaland in goal, Homokasumi. At the back, they have four Hemping, Menonyekuo, Sanyem Konyak, and T. Liang. In the middle, Kevisanyu Peseye as a captain, Limakum Zuk, Toka Sumi and Guke Sumi. And up front, Neisede and Hailebuye Irangao. On the bench, Mugahuto Sumi, Bapen Yimjong, Apeto Sumi, Surusol Angami, Hedika Sumi, Zyesengulye Angami, Puloka Sumi, Lamsangin and Kuvezovero. The head coach, of course, Broko Angami and Mugato Sumi. And for Tripura, the team in dark blue, Amit Jamatia in goal, Shabat Jamatia, Shakti Tripura, Rajiv Singha, Bulemoni Jamatia, and Sanjoy Jamatia at the back. It's a back five with Kochang Jamatia, Boyar Jamatia, Pohar Jamatia in the middle, and John Jamatia and Santa Joy Rayang up front. So a 5 3 2 playing with wing backs. On the bench, Buddha de Barma, Moni Tripura, Lalvenga Darlong, Kumar Satnam Kosh, Rajani Kanta Tripura, Amit Jamatia, and Pranav Sarka. The head coach, Suvenjit Sinha, and Sujit Kumar Kosh. The referee for today's game, Bibek Chetri, Crystal Lin as assistant referee with Sangam Kayang. The fourth official, Im Imli Menrenla, and the match commissioner, Kevin Guto Shekose. So, this is the third Northeastern Olympics that we're bringing you live here from Sports Cars India. It's a fantastic event that we have for the whole week different sports like i mentioned before football of course being one of them and uh, we're just proud and excited to bring you all the action live here exclusively in sports cast india of course So Nagaland controlling the early facets of this game. Still deadlocked at nil-nil, but uh, it's been a good start to this game. Let's not forget the matches are 80 minutes long. 80 minutes long. So uh, we have three games happening today. We have Nagaland Tripura starting now. Meglaya against Arunachal Pradesh at 11 o'clock and Manipur against Mizoram at 3. So those are the games happening today. A triple header live and exclusively from the Northeast Olympics and here at Sportscast in Europe, of course. Well, today for once in my life, I didn't murder any of the uh, Nagala names. I've been practicing, guys. That is the most important thing. So, of course, just a reminder, the way I do commentary, we are live on our YouTube chat also. You're more than welcome to leave a comment there, drop yourself a comment, have a conversation about the football game that we're watching, about the Northeast Olympics, about anything you want to talk about here in Nagaland that will be related. So, more than welcome to hashtag ask the commentator. The first match of the third Modern Games 2024 just kicked off. And the first match has been played between Nagaland and Tripura, brought from Group A. 
Number 20, Tokasumi. Foul there by Anthony Buddha. Blue, black, and white jersey. It's been a good start to this game by both sets of player players. Mr. Vivek Chetui, the assistant referee, Kisar Din, assistant referee to Samyang, Sangam Kamyang, and the court official, Imli Renma. The match commissioner is Mr. Kevin Goto Sekose. The players of Tripura are Ami Jamatia, the goalkeeper, just number 21. Sabat Jamatia, just number 17. Shakti Tripura, 16. Rajiv Sinha, just number 2. Bule Moni Jamatia, just number 15. Sonjoy Jamatia, just number 7. Kwachang Jamatia, number 4. Boya Jamatia, number 16. Bohar cross coming in. Number nine. Oh, shot to Tripura with a cross. Ball recovered though by Tripura. Cross coming in and the keeper Homo Kosumi with a decent grab there. Plays a long ball forward. Looking for they said the number ten, but good defending there by number seventeen Sabah Jamatia. Kumar Satnam goes just number three. Rajani Kanta Tripura thirteen. Amit Jamatia five. And Pranab Sarkar, just number 14. So I appreciate the MC at the ground actually Tripura reading out the lineups. What are yet to score and all and open the account? Ball now for Tripura. Recovered though by Tokurasumi. Ball for Tripura once again. Good pressure there by Nagaland. And they do recover the ball once more. That's a lofted clearance there by Shakti Tripura. And it's going to be an offside there for Nagaland. So, inside the first seven minutes, it's still still nil-nil. This still match is also nil -nil. live at the Sportscast India YouTube channel. For those of the friends who cannot be here, can be also informed that the match has been telecast live and for Nagaland, still there. Good pressure there by the Nagaland outfit. It's going to be a throw in deep inside Tripura territory. Still nil nil. And no clear cut chances as of yet in the game. But nonetheless, Nagaland in possession. Sanyam Konyak with a long ball in. Into the box. Ball into the box. And uh, decent opportunity for Nagaland. Cross comes in out for a corner kick. Good pressure there by Nagaland. Of course, they are playing at home, so the onus is on them to try and win this game against Tripura. Ball comes in and that goes out of play. That's not a good corner kick there by the Nagaland contingent. They do have to continue applying the pressure. Nagaland playing in a 4-4-2 formation. And uh, Tripura with a more defensive 5-3-2 playing with three centre-backs and two wing-backs. Ball for Paseye. Nice little headed knock on there to number 19, Liman Kumzuk. Plays the ball back to his centre-back. That's a delightful ball through. Nice cut back there by Nagaland. Cross coming in. Safely into the hands of Ahmed Jamatia. So these are the third Northeast games. First time we're bringing you, it to you live here from Sportscast India. It is, of course, a pleasure being once again back in Nagaland, of course. Place so very close to my heart. A crunching challenge, great tackle. Referee says play on. And he was in his right to do that. Well, now for Nagaland, beautifully done. Opportunity, chance. Cleared off the line by Tripura. That is a foul this time. 
It's our first chance of the game. For Naglin. As I said, the onus is on. Nagelin to try and win this game. Cross coming in for Nagelin again. Ball is still with them. It's been a good start here by Nagelin. Luris is saying first time Nagelin playing so well. well. I've seen them play well before in the Santos Trophy, don't get me wrong. Lots of potential in Nagelin football. We just have to somehow refine those diamonds in the rough. Azen21, good morning, Joe. Welcome back. Good morning to you also, Azen21. The Konei Nyeka, Jamati against Nagaland. Well, it, it, she has a point. It is Jamati against Nagaland. Pretty much, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jamati is in the starting 11 for Tripura. So it is pretty much Jamati against Nagaland. It is also Tripura against Nagaland. So let's not get that wrong also. Throw in for Tripura, taking their sweet time on the ball. Once again, second throwing in a row. Ball for Tripura this time, looking to spread the Nagalan defence wide open. They can't do that. Good defending there by Nagaland. 401 fans watching this game live on our YouTube channel. Let's try and get it to 500, folks, and beyond. Do remember to like, share and subscribe the YouTube channel to get all the action mm. and all the news from these Lagan Olympics live at your doorstep. Blaza Wansu, good morning Joa, good morning to you also my friend. Pleasure to be back here at Chumoke Dima. It's Frank Bro saying good morning, nice commentary, well cheers for that. You're going to be hearing more from me throughout the whole week. So uh, make sure you buckle in and uh, get yourself some uh, good ahuni, some good food and uh, enjoy. Chance for Nagelin, there has to be a foul. Has to be a foul. Well, apparently I am blind because that was not a foul, says the referee. Scientist, like the stream? Well, yep, yeah, I agree with you. The streaming is pretty good. We only produce quality here at Sportscast India if given the right tools to produce quality, of course. So safe to say that uh, I don't want to jinx it, but the internet in the stadium is working fine. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it remains that way for the duration of the tournament. Im Chen is saying, brother, why don't you go to the basketball stream and assist them a little? Well, I can't divide myself into two, my friend. I wish I could. The world would be a better place, trust me. Free kick for Tripura. It's going to be an uh, opportunity here for... Tripura, the man in Jersey dark number blue. 15, Bulle Moni Jamatia to take the free kick for Tripura. So Bulle Moni Jamatia to take the free kick here for Tripura. It's an in-swinger cleared away though by Nagaland. Opportunity perhaps to counter-attack by the Nagaland outfit, but covering possession again. It's good silky football there by Nagaland. That was number 10, Neisiri. Wachule King saying good morning, Sergio. Well, good morning to you also, Wachule King. Good challenge there by Toka Sumi. Of course, Toka Toka Toka, a fan favorite in Nagaland football. 
and a fan favorite in our sports cars contingency. Now in the Olympics, of course, two years in a row, and Dr. Tiao Trophy. So he's a player we know well here at Sports Cars India. Wolf and Nagan again looking for space. Opens the ball wide, sprays it wide. Ah, that overlapping run didn't find his uh, intended partner. And Nagaland there nearly to put over through. This is number four, Sanyam Konyak, bursting down the wing. Nice run there by Sanyam Konyak. Overlapping run, gets it done. This is Peseye, cuts inside, Peseye. Cross coming into the back post, volley over the bar. Well, that was a decent opportunity for Nagan. Good build up play once again. Kim Lule Zeylang saying, Who's your favorite, Joel? I don't have a favorite, to be honest with you. I'm completely impartial and neutral in these, uh, in these games. I have to be, such as my profession. Scientists are saying best player in Nagaland, Kakevi Asumi. Well, can't dispute that. He's a very good player, a very good baller. Ball there by Homo Kasumi. Throwing Fort Lipura deep inside Nagaland territory. And that goes behind for a goal kick this time for the Nagalan team. Homokasumi will take the corner, uh, sorry, the goal kick. This is a centre back pairing of Hemping and Menonekuo. Nagalan continue trying to build up the pressure. This is Paseye, nice ball there looking for. One of his partners, Tokasumi, though, recovers possession. Cleared away once again by Tripura. Who are having to do a lot of defending in these early stages of the game. Just a reminder, the games are 18 minutes in duration. Ball for Beseya now. Nice looking pass there for number 12, Irangao. Irangal gets to the byline, crosses it in over the bar. Another glorious chance goes a begging for the Nagaland team. And you just have to ask yourself, are they gonna well, are they gonna regret this as the game goes on? Because that was a pretty decent opportunity there for Nagaland. Still nil nil. But a glorious opportunity for Naglin once a man. So that's a second good chance that Naglin have had in this game. Well, for Tripura. It's going to be a free kick on the goalkeeper. They're saying now with the ball. Looking for Sanyam Konyak. Beseya once again wriggling his way through. He's got quality, Beseya. Say, if I'm not mistaken, actually had a stint in Thailand, second division or third division. If I'm not mistaken, I think he did go there to Thailand. Good player, Paseya. Don't get me wrong, he's a very good player. And that was just recent, it was, uh, I think, 23, early 24 that he was in Thailand, uh, playing in the second or third division, one of the reserve teams, I think. So he's a he's a he's a decent baller, Paseya, the captain of this Nagaland side, number eight. Keep an eye out for him. 20 minutes in the game, so halfway through the first half. Still deadlocked here between Nagaland and Tripura. 
Abdon Max saying, always a pleasure having you cover our games. Welcome back, John. Well, cheers for that. It's always a pleasure being here in Nagaland, my second home. Do feel at home here. Pesea with a cross in. Easy enough there for Amit Jamatia. So as I was saying to uh, Abdon Max, I do feel at home here in Nagaland. There's a home away from home. Melio says, uh, Noel knows much about Nagadan football. Wow. Well, it's not Noel, it's Joel. And I know a lot about Nagadan football because we've covered a lot of Nagadan football over the years. And I've seen a lot of these players play football many times before. Tipura now with a cross into the box. Header and easily into the bread basket of Homokasumi. So 510 folks watching the game live on our YouTube channel. That goes uh, out of play there for a throw in for Nagaland. 20 minutes in, the two best chances of the game have fallen for the home side. Of course, let's not forget, they are playing at home. The onus is on them to try and win this game and give a sense of pride to their supporters and fans here in the Chumoke Dima district. And in the whole of Nagaland, of course, that's going to be a foul, surely. Yes, it is a foul on Sanyem Konya, Deba number 16. Shakti Tripura and Gongo Kikon. Joel, what is your name? Wow, you have pretty much just said my name, mate. Gelezash is saying, Wow, what a question! Lol. Well, it's true, what a question. I'm not sure what that question is, to be honest. She's, that person's just mentioned my name. Can't believe it. Well, N O O B, noob. So, Free kick for Nagaland. There's going to be Senyam Konyak to take it. He's got a decent right foot on him. Decent ball in. Oh, looking for number 16. That was uh, Gukwe, Gukwe Sumi. Couldn't direct the header onto goal. And it was a free kick anyways. But that was a decent ball there by Senyam Konyak. I did tell you he's got a decent that right foot on him. Decent right peg on him. Been watching these players for a long time now, over the years. Like I said, Paseya, the captain, and Lima Komzuk, and Tokura Sumi, and Irangao, and Sanyam Konyak, and the goalkeeper Homo Kasumi. Some very good potential in Nagaland. It goes without saying. And I repeat again, just need the infrastructure to further develop these uh, rough diamonds and convert them into polished ones because the potential is there without a shadow of a doubt. Ball now for uh, Homokasumi. Nearly 600 viewers on our YouTube chat. That is fantastic. Remember, hashtag ask the commentator if you want to have a conversation with me online. Live on air. Ball looking for Peseya. Recovers possession again. Peseya into the box. Oh, good save by the keeper. Amit Jamatia. Oh, Paseye. What a player. Look at that. Recovers possession down the way and then has the acceleration and the pace and the skill to get past. But in the end, the goalkeeper have to give it to him to Ahmed Jamatia. Makes a good save down low. Ball four. Tripura once again. Long ball forward. It's been all Nagalan so far, but they've, they've, they've missed two or three glorious chances. Longshi Tungo is saying sports class India is what it is because Nagaland football pretty much. What do you say, Joel? I think that sports class India is what it is because we produce quality wherever we go. I, simple as that. And uh, of course, Nagaland, the Dr. Tiao Trophy and the Olympics have a lot to do with it. But so does the Kerala Premier League and the Delhi Premier League and the Bangalore Super Division and the Santos Trophy Games and the I League Two Games and all the other sports that we have covered, like the boxing uh, national 
level uh, uh, games and so forth. So it's not just about Nagaland football. I have to agree. You know, there is a percentage of it that does involve the Dr. Tiao trophy and so forth. But nevertheless, there are a lot of things that we do uncover. So I think it's because we are quality. And because of me. Nah, just kidding. Guys. Ball now for uh, Nagaland once more. Nice overlapping run. That goes away there, Sanyam Gonyak. Nice defending there by Tripura. This is going to be a corner kick, I believe. Ball gets played in for Nagaland, uh, cleared away. Ball gets played in. This is good football by Nagaland so far. For Tripura, good defending again by Nagaland. That was uh, Hemping. And another decent attempt there by Nagaland to start the counter attack. Recovered though by Paseye, right place at the right time, the right man for the job. It's going to be a throw in there now for Nagaland deep inside the Tripura territory. It is still nil nil. Nagaland though have had the better opportunities. Crossing and uh, decent attempt there the for us. Uh, are playing very curly good and very competitively. For those of you who came in late, you're witnessing the match between Nagaland and Tripura. Nagaland sporting in green and black jersey, Tripura in the blue, black, and the white jersey. But the teams are still yet to open their account in the Wallace draw. And today we are very privileged and honored to have our match patron, Sri M. Ratan Kumar Singh, who is also the president of the Manipur Football Association and the chief division of the Manipur Nordic Games 2024. Ball now for Tripura, that's a long ball there by number four, Kuchang Jamatia. Throw in there for Nagaland. So the Nagaland team have already had three or four glorious opportunities in this game. And they haven't taken it at all yet. Ball back for Tripura, recovered though by Nagaland again. Tokar Asumi now with possession. Opens it up wide to Paseye. Nice overlapping run by Sanyam Konyak. He's going to get there. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. No, yes, yes, no. No, he doesn't in the end. That ball goes out of play and Nagaland had possession again. 29 minutes gone, nil-nil. But Nagaland have played the better football here today. It goes without saying. Now 
a water break, which I don't particularly understand because we're already 30 minutes into the game and we only have 10 minutes left until the halftime whistle. So I'm not understanding this water break. If you want to have a water break, you have it after 20 minutes. Or do you mute it? Kinda doesn't make any sense at all to me. But nevertheless, water break here for both sets of players and the referees, of course. It is a uh, nil-nil between Nagaland and Tripura. Nagaland playing the much better football here in this first half. Still, though, it is nil-nil between these two northeastern states in this initial game of the third northeast games. So, just a reminder to like, share and subscribe to our Sportscast India channel. We're going to be bringing you all the football games here, live from Chumoke Dima, of course. And uh, we are working on bringing you other sports during these Northeast games, of course. But for now, the football is the main priority on or in this morning, this initial morning of the 19th of March 2024, the first match of these uh, third Northeast games. It is the home side Nagaland playing at home in Chumoke Dima district against Tripura. And Nagaland in light blue, Tripura in dark blue, playing much better Nagaland, having some glorious opportunities and chances in this game so far. <clears throat> Not able to take them as of now. We do hope to see the crowds gradually flock into this match and into through the into the whole day we're here in chumoke dima of course beautiful part of the world nagaland lots of potential when it comes down to football Cleared away. <laughs> Ball for Tripura. Nice football there by number eleven, John Lamartia. Jamatia, sorry. Ball for Peseya. Overlapping run by Sanyam Konyak. Toka Asumi. Oh, that's a mistake there by Toka. Gifting the ball back to Tripura. Ball gets played in again. This time safely into the hands of Homokasumi. So a little bit of a, how shall I say, a bit of a lull in Nagaland's game plan at the moment. Ball for John Jamati. Yeah, shot coming in. Keeper. It's an awkward save. Not a bad one, but it was a bit awkward. Going for Nagaland again. Throwing for Nagaland. To be taken by Sanyam Konyak. To number 19, this is Levan Komzuk. Again, Tokar Asumi has not had the best of games here today, has he? It's going to be a foul, surely. It is in a very good position. Very dangerous position here for Nagarin. Foul committed by number 17, Sabat Jamatia. A good opportunity for Nagaland. 
with nearly 700 viewers on our YouTube channel watching this initial game of the Northeast Games, Northeast Olympics. The physios come on to attend to the fallen player. Of course, just a reminder, we have three games today. So we have this game between Nagana and Tripura. Then we have Meglaya, Meghalaya sorry, against Arunachal Pradesh at 11 o'clock. And Manipur against Mizoram at 3. That is perhaps the big game tonight. Manipur against Mizoram at 3. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock, Mizoram Assam. 11 o'clock, Meghalaya against Tripura. And 3 o'clock, Arunachal Pradesh against Nagaland. Then on Thursday, Manipur against Assam. Tripura against Arunachal Pradesh. And Nagaland against Meghalaya. And then, of course, on Friday, we have the semi-finals. And Saturday, we have the finals. So we have uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days of pure, unadulterated, unfiltered football here in the Northeast. So, free kick here for Nagaland. Good position here. It's going to be Baseya to take it. Bounce for Nagaland. Ball goes in. And good save by the keeper in the end. Ahmed Jamatia with a decent save. Long ball for there by Ahmed Jamatia. Tripura have been on the back foot in this game so far. Throw in for Nagaland. Chance for Tripura here. Shot coming in, deflection. Goes out of play for a corner kick. That was a decent opportunity there for uh, Tripura, the first they've had in this game. So corner kick for Tripura. First corner kick of the game for them. Thirty-eight minutes in this match, still deadlocked at nil-nil. Corner for Tripura. It's an in-swinger cleared away though by Nagaland. Number sixteen now to take it. Shakti Tripura. Cleared away. It's a ball there by Kuchan Jamatia, offside. <laughs> Free kick for Nagaland. Decent chance, oh, what a save! Oh, great save by Ahmed Jamatia. That's a lovely control there by number 10. Santa Joy Reong goes down. That was a beautiful control. And another good chance in Ireland. They're creating opportunities. They're just not taking them, are they? Still nil nil. Long ball forward for Tripura. Oh, 
Goes behind for a throw in. We're going to see this again. Decent chance here for Nagaland. That's a good save by Ahmed Jamadia. Lovely football by Nagelin again on the attack. But they do have a little bit of a blinker there when they get to the final third. They're not really sure what they have to do when they get there. So three minutes of added on time in this first half. Corner kick for Nagelin. Well, it's played in. Chance for Nagel and cleared away though by Tripura on the volley. Now that's not a good one. Shot coming in. Straight into the hands of Ahmed Jamatia. The Tripura goalkeeper has been kept busy in this game. Two minutes left of this first half. Nagaland told them. But still deadlocked at 0 0. Anything can happen in the match of football. Ball for Paseye. Keeps possession. This is Sanyam Konyak. Paseye will have the ball again down the wing. Can he control? The answer is yes. Looks for a reverse pass. Can't find it. This is number 14. Uh, Renon Yekwo. Chance now for Nagaland again. Opportunity to get the ball into the box and uh, not happening here for Nagaland. Rami, uh, sorry, Lourdes is saying we absolutely dominated the first half. Just need to be good in the final third. I agree with you, mate. I echo your words over there. Final third productivity needs to improve. Chance! Oh, there's a bit of a fumble in the box there. A fumble in the jungle. Well, now for Tripura on the counter. Again, poor attacking display there by Tripura. Nagland again on the attack. This is number 19, uh, Lima Kumzuk. Tokurasumi. Boy, do they need his quality on the ball. Nice ball there for Sanyam Konyak. Cuts inside, crosses it into the back post. Chance here for Nagaland. He was trying the overhead kick. He could see what he was trying. It wasn't going to happen. Ball now for Tripura on the counter attack. Ball for John Lamatia. Jamatia, sorry. Once again, Tokar Asumi with possession, but the referee stops the game as one of the players is on injured. It's been a decent first half if you're a Nagaland supporter. They just haven't scored yet. But it hasn't been bad. It's been a pretty decent game. Like I said, they just need to uh, buckle up their ideas and get the house in order. Still nil-nil here at the moment. Public and match Saule Akan information the essay. Das wins can apne lagi the guala jagate das wins can rakhina se moron bra itu chalai di. Kala saman kan kiki use kura pichide das wins ne rakhi di koi na ground boy se na bruve. Itu apni kan laga police. On the ground, let's maintain the ground and let's make the use of the dustbin that has been placed just in front of the gallery. Thank you.
So, we are in extra time of extra time here. And that is the half-time whistle. Well, time for a short break. And with this that, uh, thrilling game between Nagland and the 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 deadlocked at 0-0. Time Nagland for a 10-minute break. Catch you in 10 minutes, guys. The ball the teams are yet to score the ball for the team.
and a goalless draw first half just ended and the second half is about to kick off for those of the friends and the families who cannot come and witness the match live can also be informed that this match is telling us live at the sportscast channel in their sportscast youtube channel We are so privileged and grateful to the team of the sport. So, two substitutions there for uh, Nagaland, Mugahuta Sumi and Lamsangin coming on. And uh, Tokasumi and Gukwe Sumi, who are not having the greatest of games, have been brought off. So, we're back here for the start of this second half between Nagaland in light blue and Tripura in dark blue. Tripura really don't have to do anything different to what they're doing. They are the underdogs in this game, that is for sure. Nagaland. So, we're back live here for this encounter. Nagaland against Aruna Cha sorry, against Tripura. It is deadlocked at nil-nil. Nothing has changed so far since the beginning of the game. Ball played in, Sumi, Homoka Sumi punches that ball away and eventually Nagalin clear their lines, not enough though. That shot coming in again by uh, Tripura. Eventually Nagalin do manage to clear their back lines. Nation looking for a counter attack. Nice overlapping number number 12, this is Irangao. Irangao, sorry, number 10. Cross coming in for Nagaland, back post. Opportunity cleared away though by Tripura. Well, for number five, Hemping. This is number 14, uh, Menonyekwa. It's going to be a foul there by number 10, that is uh, Santa Joy Reong with the free kick. So we're live, of course, on our YouTube chat, hashtag ask the commentator, hashtag ask Joel. If you want to know about uh, the game, you want to know, uh, talk about the players, talk about how the match is unfolding, I'm more than open to have a conversation with you guys on our YouTube chat. That is the way that I do my commentary, as you are already aware, since uh, my previous times here in Nagaland. Chance here for Nagaland again. They have come up with uh, renewed vigor and renewed force here, the Nagaland team. That's going to be a throw-in. One by Naiseda there, and it's going to be taken by number two, Leong. T. Leong. Long throw by Leong, looking for the flick on. Can't find it, cleared away though by Tripura. Well, back to the goalkeeper, Homo Kasumi who's been relatively quiet today, Ahmed Jamadia on the other end, has been kept busy, his palms stinging from the two or three good saves he's had to make. Nice outfield uh, pass to number 17, Mugahu Dosumi. He's a uh, fresh legs. He's come on in the second half for Roka Sumi. Kachuk the Spiller is saying, commentator is playing decent football here in Nagaland, that's for sure. Tripura are sitting back and absorbing the pressure. They're playing with five defenders, three centre-backs and two wing-backs. So, uh, on the defensive side of things, they are keeping it solid and stable at the back. And like I said, the onus is on Nagaland to try and break down this Tripura back line. Cross coming in for Nagaland again. This is uh, Sanyek, Sanyam Konyak. Gets to the byline, crosses it in. And can't find the player. It's going to be a free kick, I guess, for Tripura. Referee is bringing the play back to that earlier foul down the wing again by Sanyam Konyak, who was caught out of position and, uh, well, took one for the team, pretty much. 
So there is a a good crowd here in the stands today. It's a nice and uh, breezy day. You can see the flags in the background. It's blowing. It's a decent day here today to play football. They said they're tracing here in Chumima. They will be considered favorites for this game. Wolfenlagen again. Stayed in play to put a half possession. That's going to be a throw in for Tipura. 46 minutes in the game. So, if you haven't yet done it, subscribe, like, share the page, Sports Car Senior, of course. And of course, this game also. Share the link of this game to the other people that are not watching live here at the stadium. We want to see as uh, many people as possible watching the Northeast Games. These are the third Northeast Games, bringing, of course, eight Northeastern states together. Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Assam, Nagaland, Tripura, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya, and Sikkim. All of them competing under the auspice of the Northeast region to see who ultimately is the best Northeastern region in different varieties. Of course, we have uh, basketball also telecasting, although I did hear last time that there were some technical issues with that game happening. Um, we have table tennis, we have archery, we have Sepak Takro, of course, streaming as of now. So, a variety of sports for all taste buds available here at Sports Cars India. Nice advantage given by the referee. I'm not sure what they're complaining about. The advantage is given. Ball is for Nagaland. Once again on the counter attack. Good challenge. There's something that they've done well so far in these uh, 48 minutes of the game so far is uh, they've defended really solidly and stoically. Nagrin have had two, three, four good chances and they haven't been able to convert as of yet. And you know what happens in football when you don't convert your chances? You can ask Liverpool against Man United. Chance here for Tripura! Goes wide. That is what exactly I'm talking about. Tripura haven't created chances. But it's no no. Sumi, this is uh, Leong, knocks the ball out of play, under pressure by Tripura. The longer it remains nil-nil, the bigger the confidence boost they will get ultimately as the game progresses, as time eats away slowly but surely. Ball four, Tripura. Uh, easy enough there for uh, Homokasumi to gather that ball. A decent ball there for Nagaland. Cuts inside. So 50 minutes in, Nagaland have made two substitution. Munga Hojasumi and Lam Sangin coming on. Go, go, go. 
Throw him for the Buddha. That's a free kick committed there by number 11. Uvez Overo has come on. Keeper comes out, punches it away. Long ball at field for Nagaland. Cleared away by Tripura. Out of play for a throw in for the Nagaland contingent. of an intrigue here to one of the players. <coughs> so, Gatruk the Spiller, now that we have a break, commentator, what would you rate to put a team out of 10? Well, they've defended well. The defending has been a solid 7 or 8. Attacking-wise, they really haven't uh, done much, have they? So, overall, in average, I may be a 5 out of 10. Because the defending has been good, but uh, the attacking has not been great. Dem Sao Kong came being played on pure stamina. MMM, our school lunch break football was much better than this. Well, I'd highly doubt that. Otherwise, you'd be playing for Nagaland. Or for Tripura, whichever state you support. For Tipura losing possession. Oh, Nagalan can capitalize on that. The ball goes on a play out for a throw in left there by Hemping. Ball for Nagaland again. There's an undoubted lack of quality in both of these sides. That goes without saying, and there's a lot of mistakes and errors that are happening throughout the whole uh, 55 minutes of this match so far. That's a foul. Surely it has to be a foul, oh my word. Ball gets played in, and it's going to be easy there for Hobokasumi to take it. Yemin Yoeshu saying our colony kids can play better football than this squad. I highly doubt that again, my friend. Otherwise, your colony kids would be playing here in the Chumoke Dima Stadium right now. Long ball forward. Recovered though by Tripura. Naglin trying to press. Now Tripura on the charge. Ball gets played in and Hobokasumi takes that. Seventeen minutes, uh, fifty minutes gone in the second half. All now again for Nagaland. Overlapping run. Playing again by Tripura. Like I said, Tripura's defending has been solid, has been good. Nothing to reproach them about that. Throwing for Nagaland. This is uh, Cuvezovero. Decent ball in, chance for Nagaland. 
Tripura once again uh, clutching at straws and defending as best as they possibly can. Corner kick for Nagaland. 720 viewers on our YouTube channel right now. Corner kick is going to be an outswinger that's poor. Very, very poor in symphony with how the game has been developing. It started really well for Nagaland, but it's all going downhill. The quality is just not there. The final pass, the final ball in is lacking. It's missing another opportunity and then again another bad ball there by Nagaland and now Katrika Spiller is asking me to rate the Nagaland side the way that they're playing well defensively they haven't really been tested have they attacking wise well you can't really give them a, a, anything above a five because the final ball is missing I mean you can give them a 10 out of 10 for intent and for desire and for commitment and for stamina but you really can't give them anything above a four or five for final ball and uh, well they're just uh not taking their chances are they it's a bit of a shame ball now for nagland again So if I gave Tripura a 5 out of 10, I'm going to give Nagaland a 6 out of 10. Because even though they played better than Tripura, that's for sure, but they just haven't been able to find the, the final ball, have they? Tripura are just defending really well and trying to hit them on the counter-attack. The onus is on Nagaland to, um, to win this game. They're playing at home in, flank, in front of their own crowd, so... They really do need to step it up a little bit here if they want to take three points from this particular match. And let's not forget, also in the same group, you have uh, Meghalaya and Arunachar Pradesh. So it's not going to be easy for Nagaland. In paper, perhaps this was a game that they should be winning to qualify for the semis. It's not happening as of now. There's around 21 minutes left for Nagaland to try and find a winner and for Tripura to try and uh, survive. And perhaps, who knows? Shock everyone here in Chumo Kedima today can take all three points. Well, for Nagaland again, Paseya with a cross in. That's a looping cross into the back post. Safely into the hands of Ahmed Jamatia. Kapsay Konyak is saying missing flair and quality. I completely agree with you there. There's a lot of flair and quality missing in this Nagaland side. So, there's a player it down injured here for Tripura. Referee is calling the physios. Nike Ketsu is saying welcome back to Nagaland, Joel, with three smiling smileys. Well, let me reply to you there. I'm glad to be back here at Nagaland. And I'm going to put four smiling smileys here. Sweetie Medilindo is saying it seems like Nagaland players didn't practice well. I'm pretty sure they did. It's just that the fact that Tripura just defending really well. Let's not uh, take credit away from the Tripura team. They are defending really well. And, um, well, so far so good for them. Uh the Spiller, commentator, who do you... Oh, wait, wait, commentator. Who do you think is a key player from Tripura Nagaland? From Tripura, I've identified number 10, Santa Jory Reong. He can um, play down the wing, play as a striker. Very fast, very quick. And um, for Nagaland, you have Cuvezo Vero. You have uh, Peseya. Tokasumi hasn't uh, played well. So number 11, number 20, who's been subbed off. And Peseya, the captain at the back. Sanyam Konyak, very good player. So some very good players in this Nagaland side they just haven't been uh, firing all cylinders today Agabo Rochi we missed you a lot well cheers for that I missed all of you again I was only here last month again in Chumo Kedima for the Nagaland Olympics
Still nil nil in this game between Nagel and Antlipura. Both of these sides deadlocked as of yet. It's going to be a drop ball here for uh, Nagel inside. Plays it to Cuvezovero. Nicely done there by Cuvezovero. Hips made of rubber bands. The ball is Asanyan Ponyak. And again, the final cross in. I mean, look, the build up play is not bad by uh, Nagland. But um, the final ball is it's not good, is it? I think there's going to be another sub here, but. So free kick for to pull a number two, Rajib Singer to take it. player for Nagaland. Oh, decent player number 12. I've seen him also many times before playing in Nagaland. And in the Santos Trophy. Ball for Leon. Young to take the throw once again. It's going to be a throw this time for Tripura. Konyak Naga is saying it's so disappointing to see the home team playing so poor. I don't think they will go through league matches. Well, we shall have to wait and see. Everyone's entitled to have a poor game. At the end of the day, they are humans after all. Just have to wait and see. Let's not take away credit from Tripura. They played well. They've defended really well today. So let's not take credit away from them and give credit where it's due. Josh Brim is saying, Joel said, the commentary in Spanish too. Bueno, ¿qué quiere que os diga en español? A ver, partido. Un partido crudo, ¿eh? un partido 0 a 0, no hay nada que resaltar, Nagran está jugando mejor, pero Tripura está defendiendo como leones, están jugando un partido muy curioso, muy interesante, y bueno, otro balón que se va a los pies del portero, a mi Yamatia, y no está pasando absolutamente nada este encuentro, 15 minutos quedan para que termine el partido, el primer partido de la temporada. En estos juegos del Northeast Games, Cuvés Overo now on the ball. Plays the ball to number 14, Menoch. Wow. Can't pronounce that name, Menonyek. It's going to be a corner kick for Nagrat. Played in. This is uh, number 17, Mungahuto Sumi. Yeah. 
Now going to recover possession. Tripura, though, looking to play the ball out. Recovered by Sanyam Konyak. Ball gets played in. There's no one there. Chance for Nagaland. Sets himself up. Easy save by the keeper. Partido means game in Spanish, of course. So whenever I talk about the game, I, I have to say partido or encuentro, which also means game. El partido o el encuentro. So, talking about the game, that's what it means. Partido means game. Ball now for Nagland again. Trying to build up. This is Cubezo Vero. I told Naga saying Nagaland players very weak. Well, they're having an off day, aren't they? Especially in front of goal, but this can change here. That's a foul. Well, it's a foul, but it's not a yellow card, mate. Don't ask for a yellow card. It's not a yard. It's going to be a free kick for Zipura. Once again, good defending by the men in the dark blue. Long ball forward there for Tripura. Can't see a for the men in dark. Oh, that shot. Not good. Was it not good at all? By Tripura. 68 minutes. 12 minutes left in this game. Still nil nil between Nagaland and uh, Tripura. Chance here for Nagara now. This is better. That's okay over the bar. So you see the fans in attendance here in Chumokedima are finally making their voices heard. But Nagalin haven't really created many opportunities in this second 40 minutes to um, try and uh, get those uh, fans involved in the game. You know, they're playing at home, Nagalin, so they really should try and get those fans involved. They can be their 12th man in this match. Chin Pai Konya Joe, nice to hear your voice again. I appreciate you for that, my friend. Hotel Chivago, Charlene Soka Power Lagia Senagaland. Well, not pretty, not 100% not sure what that means, but nevertheless, Shaolin Soka. Well, it hasn't been one of those Shaolin Soka games I've seen worse. Vesavero restarts the game. Get away there, boy. Number two, Leong. Cero a cero en este partido entre Nagaland y Tripura en el primer encuentro de los North East. Games, el tercer Northeast Games que se disputa. La primera vez que se hace en Sportscast India, claro. Nagaland 0, Tripura 0. Un resultado que no favorece a los de casa. El equipo de Nagaland que está sufriendo como locos para ganar este partido contra un equipo que deberían de ganar. O sea, no queda de otra. Está jugando en casa con el apoyo de la gente y están sufriendo. ¿eh? Throw in for Tripura.
Looks like there's going to be another change here for Lager. No, it isn't. It's going to be a water break with 10 minutes left of the game. So time for some much-needed uh, break for both sets of players and the referees, of course. between Nagel and Antipura. for the men in dark blue. Long she is saying, Joseph, after hearing his Spanish, I thought I was watching Real Madrid against Barcelona. Well, you might be watching uh, an Osasuna against Rayo Vallecano game. Same quality. Wow. Just kidding, of course. La Liga is a different level to this. Can't get back, can you? Nice overlapping run. Kachuk the spiller, weakest team. Well, perhaps Tripura, perhaps Arunachal Pradesh. Strongest teams, perhaps Manipur, Magalia, Mizoram. Take your pick. Seven minutes left here. So number nine coming on for Nagland. Replacing number 12, Irangao, who has been for a disappointment Nagaland. in the second half. Just number 12, Irangao, out. Just number nine, Surosol, in. Surosol coming on for uh, Nagaland, looking for a winner here today. Chance here for Tripura. Shot coming in. Easy enough for the goalkeeper. charge again not good ball there by Nagaland now Tripura look five minutes left Tripura are in the game and this is exactly what they wanted long ball forward for Tripura chance for them to take this win and it goes well wide there by Santa Joy Real but that is what they can do that is a that is the thing Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, free kick for Tripura. Well, going to recover, Tripura, recover. Happened in the second half to be fair. It's a handball for Nagaland though. <clears throat> That's poor football by Nagaland again. Well, now for the men in light blue. Cross coming in. No handball, says the referee. Substitution for Tripura, number five coming on. <laughs> Placing number ten, Sente Joy Rayang. Chance for Tripura though on the counter attack. Glorious chance. Parries on short. Saved by the keeper Hobu Kasumi. That's what Nagaland feared. They have five minutes to try and win this game here, Nagaland. Five minutes of added on time in this match. It hasn't been the greatest of days for Nagaland. Cross coming in, easy enough there for Ahmed Jamatia. Perhaps the man of the match for Tripura today. Especially in that first half, he had a very good first 40 minutes. Hasn't really been tested much in the second half. 
And that is down to the good, solid defending by Tsipuda. Poor recover by Nagaland. That's poor ball. I don't know who's passing the ball to. There's no one there in that space. Football is all about space, and they're not attacking the space, these Nagaland players. And if they are, well, it's the wrong space they're usually attacking. It's a shame. Ball here for Tipura. Oh, ball still for Tipura. Chance here for Tripura. Well, it seems like the Nagaland team is running out of steam here, running out of energy. Another player down injured. Corner kick for Tripura. And it's played in, cleared away. Now, chance for a counter attack for Nagaland. Can they do it in the final moments of the game? Still, chance for a counter attack. Glorious chance. Sanyan Konyak. Konyak gets into the box. Cross coming in. And ball no, says the referee. Substitution here for Egypt. It's played in. No! Oh, keeper punches it away and uh, eventually clear. Point to the quarter. Nagaland into the box. Oh, 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 so close. Corner kick. Oh, the closest they've got. Jersey moment. number 17 replaced by jersey number 7 for Team Nagaland. This is the last chance of the game for Nagaland. It's do or die now, pretty much. So that was number 9. That was Sudo Sol. And Nagaland has taken the win here against Tripura in extremis in the dying embers of the game. A corner kick taken, and Suda 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 Sol with a goal for Nagaland in the 85th minute of the game. Oh my word, heartbreak for Tripura, and joy and elation for Nagaland and their supporters here in Chumoke Dima. It's 1 0 for the home side and that super sub has done it wow
Wow, wow, wow. Nagelen winning this game by one goal to nil. Super sub. Sudo Sol. My word. Last dying embers of the game. And Nagelen are going to take a crucial three points in this group A. And it's going to be another, oh, he's going to be booked, double booked. He's going to be showing a red card here, mate. You can't do that. That's just stupid and silly. They're asking for it. Of course, uh, he's not happy, is he? The number 17, Sabat Jamatia. They've run and they've battled and they've fought so well, Tripura only to be undone in the final second of the game. Nagelin are going to take a win. Surosol is the hero in this first game of the third Northeast Games. 1-0 for Nagelin. Wow. Who would have seen that nice match with 85 minutes in the game well folks a nice time for a short we break we have another game team Meghalaya and will play against team Arunachal Pradesh will be Meghalaya against Arunachal Pradesh starting nice match. shortly Meghalaya, the MC is oh. saying 11 a.m. Mate, it's 11 2 already, and no one's going to be playing right now. So the game will be delayed by 20, 25, 30 minutes, that's for sure. So, guys, do get in your lunch, early lunch, early snacks, early. Try your coffee, have your breakfast, have your lunch, and get ready for the next humdinger of a game between Meglaya and Arunachar Pradesh live here in Chumoki Dima. Folks, don't go anywhere.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sports persons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagala. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Nzarini Zou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation kure ki wo bishi bal expect kuri na tan na medals kam bishi juti ki na se to bishi kuch pa ki na se. This is my first experience and then neither bra bishi jani she. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all so hoping for the best in the near near future. Bishi kuch pa ki na se. ปีชิปไปเชอะอะไรกูชิไปที่สเตนอาร์ตี้อะไรอะไรดิสติปันมีตัวนักเอกชนสังเกตุไม่ได้เนี่ยก็ทักกี้กูเรียนดูปีชิ
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglen Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the heart. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
छह के स्कोर के साथ कमी को का अगला लगातार opportunity to you to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time i would like to declare the second northeast olympics 2022 as closed thank you Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024 we have more than 6000 participants comprising of the athletes officials technical officials delegates para athletes performers artists volunteers
16 districts. Title of the day is Sir John F. Percy, the General Secretary of the North East Sports Association and President of the Megaland Olympic Association. He is led by, he is led by the President of the Megaland Football Association, Sri Bhikkhu Sekose, and the Vice President of NFA, Sri Keika. Before the players are introduced, the President of Nagan Football Association will give a token of appreciation to our best patron. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Sir John F. Carsey, the best patron of the second base. We will all stand up as we play the national anthem. So the long-awaited second game is upon us. We had a 30-minute break in between the Nangalan triumph against Tripura by one goal to nil in the dying seconds of the game. And now we have Meghalaya against Arunachal Pradesh in what promises to be another humdinger, crackerjacker of a game. Arunachal Pradesh in white, Meghalaya in green. Meghalaya the favourites for this encounter. In fact, the favourites for the, the Nangaland have three Meghalaya points. Are... Jersey now number 22. We will have the lineups. Wang Tilang, Mang Nang. Jersey number 17, Mak Shem, Shan Pru. Jersey number 16, Riding Star, Karkong Gore. Jersey number 12, Ban Kit Nongro. Jersey number 14, Last Four, Mok New. Jersey number 4, Ricky, Ricky Sam. Makdo, jersey number five. Rigman Lang, Nongru, jersey number 18. Justin Will, Tom, jersey number nine. Alem, Kongkweer, jersey number 10. <coughs> P. Pankro, jersey number 13. Kantola, the substitutes are free star. Arpaniti, Lady Paul, Panchim Pong, Mipan Shah, Pyang Shi Shah, Becker Lang, Mapang Shah, and Ong Si Song. The team coach is Player Song, and the team manager is Ipan Jong. 
Beg your apology if your names are not pronounced properly. The players for Arunachal Pratesh are Jersey number one, Jacob Loi, Jersey number 77, Napam Rupo, Jersey number two, Akash Kino, Jersey number 12, Dechi Tatra, Jersey number four, Cho Chong Chita, Jersey number six, Napam Perry, the captain of the team, Jersey number seven, Akash Tol, Jersey number 40, Tame Aku, Jersey number 10, Tar Tolu, Jersey number 20, Pero Kara, Jersey number 16, Rahul Sipo, the substitutes are Alako, Tania, Haik, Olik, Takru, Torji, Siwa, Torji, Wangchu. Kiba Bharat is the team coach and Ricky Ramchi, the team manager of the Arunachal Pradesh team. The main referee of the second match will be referee Michibile, who will be the man, uh, referee of the match. Assistant referee one, Ching Ching. Assistant referee two, <coughs> Masi Konyo. And fourth official, Kusulia. The match commissioner will be Sri Kevin Kutu Sekose. So there you have it. For Megalia, Wante Lang, Bashkem, Riding Star, Blanket Nongurum, Lasborn, Rikisen, Rick Melang, Justin Well, Alem, Ivankara Nongulo, and Calvo Lang. And for Arunacha Village, Jack Mnoni, Nabam Roko, Akash Kino, Echi Tatra, Chon Chon Chita, Nabam Peri, Akash Tao, Tamenako, Kardo, Menom Kara, and Kalusi. So there we have it guys, my name is Joe Williams, I'm going to be a commentator for the second game of the day between Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. Meghalaya in green, Arunachal Pradesh are in white. So we are kicking off here in Chumoke Dima. Nagaland beat Tripura by one goal to nil at the very last moment, the very last kick of the game. Surasol, the hero for the Nagaland team. They struggled, they huffed and they puffed, and they eventually blew the house down. And now this game, Megalia starting as favourites against Adunachar Pradesh, the recent hosts of the Santos Trophy, of course. So that can uh, possibly, hopefully, and uh, I really do believe, give Adunachar Pradesh football a huge boost in the future. So, one day long. Shampru, Karkongar, Nongrum, Lasporn, Rikison, Nongrum, Justerwell, Kongwar, Nongklo, and Kaldolon for Meglaya, Megalia, sorry. And for Arunachal Pradesh AP, you have Loi, Ropo, Kino, Tatra, Chitan, Peri, Tau, Agung, Dolu, Karop, and Singpo. Ball now for number 14. This is uh, Lasporn. I wonder who was the firstborn, if he was the lastborn. All joking aside, he's uh, one of the top players for this uh, Megalia side. That goes out of play for a goal kick for Megalia. They are in green, and Arunachal Pradesh AP are in white, of course. Kick taken short there. We're here in Chumo Kedima. The heart of Nagaland for this third Northeast Games, Northeast Olympics. Promises to be a stunning event. Until Saturday, we have the football, of course. We also have Sabak Dakaro, we also have lawn tennis, we have uh, table tennis, basketball, we have 
All kinds of things happening here in the Northeast Games. Archery, Wushu, fighting, WWE, you name it, we got it. Ball is for Aruna Chand Pradesh. Of course, do remember to like, share and subscribe the uh, Sportscast India YouTube channel. <coughs> and if you're feeling generous, feeling like... Uh, You want to pay for some chai or for some coffee? The super chat is available, of course. So more than welcome to donate to our snacks. <laughs> Guys, the ball is for Arunachal Pradesh. Nice reverse pass into the box. Good defending though by Megalia. They have to try and evade getting themselves into a cul-de-sac. But they do clear the ball away although the ball is back again with Arunachal Pradesh Banjob Karkongor WWE also well you name it we got it <laughs> Ray Mysterio is making an appearance today Buyaka Buyaka ball is back again with the Megalia goalkeeper one day long with a kick for Megalia down the flank nice defending there by Arunachal Pradesh I have to say, uh, Megali are favourites in this game, but Arunachal Pradesh could be dark horses here. I mean, could surprise a few people. The big word there is could surprise. Not saying they are going to do that. Ball is uh, with Lastborn. Last nice ball there by Arunachal Pradesh recovering it. That's number six. That's Betty, the captain. Sprays the ball wide. Here, the hidden alone on the counter attack. Cross coming in. Cleared away, though, by Megalia. Ball for Megalia. The man in green. That's not a good ball there, and it goes out of play for a goal kick for Arunachal Pradesh. Ball for Arunachal Pradesh. The by Berry goes uh, straight into the bread basket of the feet of Lo Yi from, sorry, of Wan Tae Lang from uh, Megalia. One ball forward. Cleared away there by Arunachal Pradesh. Six minutes in the game, no chances as of yet. It's been a relatively slow start to this game, but here come Megalia. Nice burst down the wing, cross coming in. Cleared away though by AP, Arunachal Pradesh. Good defending so far by the men in white. Another cross coming in for Megalia. To the back post. Cleared away by Karap. Good hold up play there by Singpo. Nice football here by AP at Runachal Pradesh, opening up wide to number 12. This is Tatra. Tatra looking for a cross into the box. Keeper comes to collect. Keeper in no man's land. Chance here for Runachal Pradesh. Oh, they managed to clear the ball away. Ball now for number 13. Calderon. Covered up by Aruna Chow. Mm -hmm. 
Long ball forward there by Rula Chapadesh once more. It's a nice cross field pass. Looking for number 10, I believe that's Dolu. Dolu gets the ball, number 14. Now this is Agung. Agung looking for Dolu again. Gets a nice reverse pass. Keeps it in play. Dolu with the cross. And that's not a good cross. Although it takes a wicked deflection. Eventually cleared away by Megalia. The scissor kick goes over the bar. But it was a decent attempt and uh, the first chance of the game falling for Aruna Chapadesh there. Goal kick taken by Wante Long. Taken away by Aruna Chapadesh. This is number 13, Carl Delon. Offside. Well, you can't really be caught offside there. You have to really time your run. That's a foul. There's going to be a yellow card here for Megalia. Well, first yellow card of the game. A foul on Agung number 14. So free kick here for Arunachal Chad Pradesh in a dangerous position. Nine minutes in this game have elapsed. Shot coming in, though it's a pass out wide. It's a worked free kick. Cross, not a good Ladies one. And Defending by Metalia. We are witnessing the second match of the third. Is Throw in taken quickly, yes, cross three. coming in for Aruna Chal Pradesh. Cross is coming in for Aruna Chal Pradesh. Megalia are also defending. Honored by the presence of our match patron, Sir. The challenge that by Aruna Chal Pradesh. The General Secretary of Mount East Sports Association, and he is also the president of the Madalaya Olympic Association. With him, we also have his friends and the dignitaries. Sir Finley L. Paria is the General Secretary Madalaya State Olympic Association. He is also the Secretary, Meghalaya Olympic Association and Associate Vice President Athletic Federation of India, AFY. We also have Sri Eddie Murphy H. Kasa. He is the pre Vice President, Meghalaya Athletic Association. He is the President, Meghalaya Table Tennis Association. He is also the President, Archery Association, Meghalaya. Sir, your presence has made this uh, moment more memorable and also thank you for being here. The first match, Nagaland, and for the first match against Tripura by a goal. So, long ball there for uh, Magalia. The match officials are Mr. Machivale, the main referee, assistant referee Juan Chisen, the man in green, assistant Magalia. referee to Masikonio, and the fourth officer. coming in, the rules are potentially at their lines. The match commissioner is Mr. Kevin Moto Sebasen. There by Agung. Mistake at the back there for Megalia. 
Rappen Gaming is asking whether these are league matches or knockout. They're league matches. Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, and uh, Tripura are in one group. And Manipur, Mizoram, and um, Assam are in group B. Sikkim not participating in this tournament today. It's uh, number 13. That was uh, a mistake there by Caldolon. Ball forward with Lachlan Pradesh once more. One ball forward. Oh, that's going to be a foul there by the striker. He unnecessarily barged into the goalkeeper, Wente Lung. And he's going to be booked. Is he going to be given a talking to there? Singapore number 16. So free kick for Megalia. <coughs> Battling this game out against uh, Arunachal Pradesh, deadlocked at nil nil. Ball is in play there by Lastborn. Have possession still nil nil, but uh, they've been playing the better football here against Magalia. Pradesh now launching the ball forward. They keep on getting the the, the long balls and through balls, and uh, so far so good for Arunachal Pradesh. Keeping it nice and tight, playing some decent football. That's a good turn there by number five, uh, Nongram. Recovered there by Runa Pradesh. Ball for Megalia, cross coming in. Still a chance for a second ball. Shot. That was just wide. So nil nil after 16 minutes here in Chamoke Dima between Arunachal Pradesh and Magalia. We have a player down already. So the physio has not been called in, I guess. It won't be needed, I hope. Still early going in this game to have injuries already settling in, but he can't seem to walk properly. So I do think the physio ultimately is going to have to come on and treat the player. Okay, in the background, physio, physio, physio. Well, we are here live in Chimoke Dima for the third Northeast Games. It's not just football that we're telecasting. We have basketball, we have volleyball coming up. We have table tennis, lawn tennis. We have um, so many different games. So, Paktakro, Wushu. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things happening in this week of these third Northeast games. 
and we're here at uh, Sportscast India. We're happy that we are broadcasting it for you guys. It's such a pleasure, such a such an honour to be considered as a broadcasting partners here for the Northeast Olympics. Galia with the ball. That's number ten, Longclaw. Nice football there by Magalia. Ross coming in. Keeper comes out. Go. Magalia opened the scoring in this game against Arunachal Pradesh. It's 1 0. For the men in green, and Megalaya has scored the, scored the first goal in this match. The score line reads Megalaya 1. 1 0 for Megalaya. Against Arunachal Pradesh. There's a change for Arunachal Pradesh. Number the 18 ball. has Jesse come on. 13, Kaldolong Kamrao Plan. So Kaldolong has scored a goal for Megalia. So early blood for the men in green. For those of you who is you are watching the match. Top the top going to react to this. and Arnachal Pradesh. And Meghalaya has just scored a goal to Arnachal Pradesh, and the score line is 1 0. So, goal scorer Caldelon for uh, Megalia. If you missed the game early on, Nagaland won in extremis against uh, Tipura by one goal to nil. Goal came literally in the last second of the game. Ball for Runachal Pradesh, cross coming in, it's a decent ball in. Rises above everyone else, keeps it in play. Well, still in play there for Aruna Chal Pradesh. Eventually, Megalia cleared the lines. That's not a good ball there for the run in between the lines. 20 minutes have gone in this game. That's a decent ball in. So James has come on number 18. Here he is on the ball now for Arunachal Pradesh. Ball for the men in white, cleared away by Megalia. It isn't pretty, but it's effective nonetheless. A little bit of skill there. So throwing forward on the Trump Pradesh. Now they get a free kick in a good position to whip the ball in. It's not Megalia 3 at Trump Pradesh nil, guys, I'm afraid. It is only 1-0. Pretty sure our producer has got that wrong. It's 1 0 for Megalia, not 3 0. Don't know where he's got the three goals from. 
There you have it. Cross coming in for Arunachal Pradesh. Back post. Out for a goal kick. Football there by Runa Chal. That's a missed pass there. Oh, they're playing white and the team is playing in green. So Caldolan is the goal scorer for Megalia. Here comes Arunachal Pradesh getting to the byline. Good tackle, chance, good block by Megalia. Another good chance there for Arunachal Pradesh. Goes a begging. That's not a foul, he got the ball clearly. It's three and one down the flank. Can get the ball in. Megalia defending solidly. Game is going to be stopped here to uh, attend once again one of the injured players. Good to see the goal again here for Megalia. Nice burst down the wing, cuts it back, and then it was just a rebound, wasn't it? It was second, third attempt there, and uh, a goal there by Caldolan. 1 0 for Megalia after 24 minutes in this game. It hasn't been a classic match so far, a lot of mistakes happening from both sides. Still, it is 1-0 Megalia against Arunachal Pradesh. So it's a pleasure that you guys are joining us here in this broadcast of the third Northeast Games. Of course, there are different sports other than football if you want to watch. There's basketball, there's sabaktakro, there is a badminton happening now as we speak. There is all kinds of things happening. Badminton, basketball, wushu, sabaktakro, of course football, table tennis. There's a whole host of games. We're going to have Benkak Silat, also volleyball happening later on, boxing, athletics. So we're trying to cover as much as we possibly can uh, here in uh, the third Northeast Olympics. We are going to have a short break for a drinks break. As the players get the necessarily or the necessary fluids into the system. See the goal once more.
So Megalia leading. It's gonna go out for a throw in that one. Uttar Pradesh battling to fight to get the ball back. Not happening as of yet for the men in white. They haven't played bad, you know. They haven't uh, made any mistakes of sort. It's just that Megalia have uh, taken their only chance that they've had in the game. That's why they're leading by one goal to nil. It wasn't good defending by Runa Pradesh, to be fair. They come Megalia again down the wing. This is where they're strong. Now it's uh, not a good ball there, but once again, just breezing his way through the back line there. Hasn't been a classic as of yet. Some fans did remain behind from that Nagalan to put a game. One of the best of clearances there for Megalia. I will not try to recover the possession. Is number 14, Argun. For Runachal Pradesh, ball is in play. Keeper makes a decent save, but they say it's gone out for a corner kick. So, a chance here for Runachal Pradesh to once again test the goalkeeper one day long. Hasn't really been tested that much. Ball gets played in to the back post. Ball bouncing and bobbling. Another cross coming in. A volley. Ball is still there and it goes over the bar. Handsomely over the bar. And Megalia have the ball again, throwing deep inside their own territory. We're here live in Chumoke Dima. Yes, indeed, we are. Mick is asking whether the ground is in Chumoke Dima. It is indeed. In the beautiful state of Nagaland, of course. Thank you. 
and ball forward for Megalia. game bereft of any uh, quality at the moment just both teams just kicking the ball forward aimlessly and running after it like headless chickens there we go again I mean it's not it's not a particularly good game is it doesn't have the same energy or vibes or feel as that Nagan against Tripura game had a couple of hours ago which was uh, in the first half at least end to end second half it fizzled out a little bit more but in the end Sudosol with a winning goal for Nagaland. This game is not particularly enthralling, is it? Megalia coming forward again. Ball into the box, good defending. out here's the ball away Pradesh though, back post. <laughs> now Mikhail on the counter attack. Nice threaded ball through and uh, he tried the shimmy there. Tried the dummy but it didn't work out. Defense by Runa Chapadesh was clocked on to that. Is he offside? Onside, he was offside in the end. played in such a low tempo it's hard to make anything of it to be fair yes Megalia are leading by one goal to nil but they haven't really done a lot to warrant that lead neither have Arunachar Pradesh I mean they're both very even Steven teams aren't they A decent ball. He's on side here. One on one with the keeper. Go! A beautiful and a neat goal scored by the Arunachal Pradesh. 
call line is Arunachal Pradesh. Number 18, one. James. Megalaya one. What's up? It's 1 1. Like I was saying, even Stevens' game, neither side deserved to be honest to be leading this match. And uh, well, once again, we've been proven justified and uh, proven right. It's 1 1. Megalaya one, Arunachal Pradesh one. So back to square one for both of these teams. Good goal, I think it was by number 18, James. Good finish, good composure to slot it down uh, beyond the goalkeeper's legs. So 1-1 one, one here at Chimoke Dima Stadium. In this game between Abdul Chapadesh and Megalia. Chance here for Abdul Chapadesh again. Where is the Megalia defense gone? Oh, for Ruin Chapadesh again. Oh, simple there, winning a throw in. Oh, not bad there for Ruin Chapadesh. Uh, first half there's going to be a yellow card for an Unutal Pradesh player Three minutes of added on time in this first half. Here for Aruna Chow! Oh, over the bar. Oh, they had a chance there to make it two. To take the lead into the half time break. Well, it was a delightful ball, really good control, and it wasn't a bad finish. for a throw in. Yes, yes, yes. 
So 1-1, one, one, but uh, Aruna Top Pradesh perhaps have had the better chances in this game. But it's a fair scoreline as of now. So 1-1 one, one between uh, Megali and Aruna Pradesh. Time for a short break, I see you in the second half. Sixteen districts, more than two thousand sportspersons, four thousand plus participants, three hundred and forty-seven medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022.
Amla nam dole to long shana sa. My name is Xiangji. Mula nam songwa sa. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of women basketball. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, 
you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglen Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the heart. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today. So the second half of this thrilling game is upon us here between Meghalia and Arunachal Pradesh. It's 1-1 deadlocked at the half-time interval, so 40 more minutes left of this encounter. So, 1-1. One, one. The goal scorers, James and Calderon. Calderon for Megalia, James for Arunachal Pradesh. Good initial pressure there by uh, <coughs> Arunachal Pradesh. Good goalkeeping though by the Megalia goalkeeper. One day long. So one one in this game. So it hasn't been the best of games, and definitely not the best game that we've seen today. But that can change in the second half, of course. But um. It's a game, apart from a lot of mistakes by both sides, simple, easy, silly mistakes to be honest, it's also a game that has the edge and has the possibility of turning into something magical! Oh! Chance one on the top of that, goes a begging. That was a good moment there for the top of dash. Yes, 
flicked oh on. Here, chance for Runa Pradesh once more. Shot. They started here like a house on fire today in the second half. Runa Pradesh clearly taking the game to Megalia. The men in green right now struggling to get out of their own half, and Runa Pradesh are pegging them back. Of course, AP at Runa Pradesh hosted the last edition of the Santos Trophy just a couple of weeks ago. So football is growing, and that's the most beautiful thing of all. Football is growing not just in some states, but it's growing all around India, and that's uh, that's the best thing of all that we can hope for a football fan, as a football fan ourselves. It's nicely done. So we're here in Nagaland in Chimoke Dima, beautiful part of the world. Home of course of the Naga people amongst other tribes. Here, goal scored by Calderon and James. It's going to be a free kick. Another good position for uh, Megalia. So free kick here for uh, Arunachal Pradesh in a dangerous position. Oh, that goes wide. Just wide, skimmed the post there. Was number six Betty with a free kick. So so close to making it 2-1 for Arunachal Pradesh. Number two now. This is uh, Pino. Ball recovered by Megalia though. The rebound ricochet and uh, back safely into the hands of the goalkeeper Wante Lang for Megalia. <coughs> Moves the ball forward, but. Uh, Recovered once more by Arunachal Pradesh. They're playing much better in the second half. Something perhaps to do with the half-time interval coming at the right time for them and uh, the coach just uh, perhaps asking them a little bit more. Chance though for Begalia. Wide. So 1-1, one, one, our YouTube chat is open for discussion. Hashtag ask the commentator, hashtag ask Joel. More than welcome to leave a message over there. the box flicked on in the front post actually we got one day long gathers <laughs> long 
forward, Megalia now with possession. Keeper hesitated. Chance here for the men in green. forward so I do not chop a dash second half started with a house like a house on fire playing much better all gets played in again cleared away though by Megalia Good tackle to intercept. That was number 77, Ropo. Double substitution. Number 13 and number 24 coming on. Substitution for Arunachal Pradesh. Number 7 and number 10 coming off. Dolu and Tao coming on. So 13 and 24 coming on. Olik Tayeng, number 13, has replaced Dolu and uh, Hagesarbo has replaced Tawa. So, three changes already for uh, Arunachal Pradesh in this game. One in the first half, two in the second. First involved there for Olik Dying. Cleared away there by Mangalia. And the ball goes out of play for a throw in. For Aruna Chal Pradesh. So, ball is once again with number 14. This is uh, Agung for uh, Arunachal Pradesh. That's more decent attempt, decent football by Arunachal Pradesh. Shot saved by the keeper. To be a bit of a deflection. Ball for Megalia. Keeper Loyi. And the change, number three coming on for Megalia. 
placing number five. So Mongrum is off. Number three is on. Number three is Lapalang. So Lapalang on for Mongrum. Ball for on top of this. Fifty five minutes into this game. Still is as tight as can be. Shot. Easy enough saved by the goalkeeper there. So it's uh, one one. They are calling the medical team on. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. See the equalizer there for Runachal Pradesh to make it 1 1. 57 minutes in this game, around uh, 23 24 minutes left of this encounter. It could very well be anyone's game still today. Mm -hmm. 
Chance here for the Uttar Pradesh. Easy save by the keeper. The tempo of the game has uh, gone down a little bit now. Perhaps players getting tired. 20 minutes left of this encounter. Good football here by Arunachal Pradesh once more. Played away though. the referee and that automatically is going to be a, a job ball for Megalia. by Arunachal Pradesh. Back again with Megalia. That was number nine with the pass. Kong here. I will not try and recover. That is number 24, Sarabo. Decent looking ball to Agung. Inside the box. Turns and twists. Oh, yeah, eventually he turned and twisted himself too long there. Oh, that was a shame because Agung was in a good position there. It was one on one pretty much. Much time on the ball there. Corner kick for Arunachal Pradesh. In swing, ah, keeper comes out and gathers one day long. Has been pretty decent with his handling skills today. Ball cleared away there by Arunachal. Throwing for Megalia. Taken by number 10, Nong Klo. Once again, Arunachal Pradesh recovering possession. All so simple for them. Dixon looking ball now for Megalia. Trying to uh, unsettle the back line from Arunachal Pradesh. Cross coming in. It's not a bad one, but the keeper, Loyi. 
gathers that with ease. Still in play. Back to the goalkeeper, Loi. Advantage played by the referee, nicely done. That's a foul. No question about that, that, that was a foul. So free kick uh, for Miglalia. 16 minutes left on the clock. Double substitution, it seems, for Miglalia. Wonder who is coming on and off. Number 19 and 11 coming on. Shows come off, but number 19 and number 11 have come on. That we can confirm. Strike for Megalia, that's poor, straight into the wall. And Aruna Tapade shall have a chance to counter attack now if they so wish to. Taking it slow. 15 minutes left. Chance here for Aruna Pradesh. Ball bouncing and bobbling on the edge of the box. Looking for options, finds one in number 20, got up, crosses it in. What a good ball in, once again. Megalia have possession of the ball. Ross coming in, oh! Glorious chance. Wasted. Glorious opportunity. Wasted. So we're going to have a drinks break now.
So, double substitution, 17 and 15 coming on for Arunachal Pradesh. Twelve minutes left, plus of course whatever the referee adds on after this. We do have Manipur against Mizoram at three o'clock. That's going to be a good game of football. Long bursting run there. Ball forward on a child again. No foul, says the referee. Cleared away by Megalia. Nice football by the men in green. In the end, it doesn't matter because uh, Arunachal Pradesh cleared the ball away. Ten minutes left. Still, the game is on the balance. Game is on the edge. Both sides level. This would be a fantastic result for Nagaland if it manages to stay this way. Meandering along, we are here in Chumokaidima. Shot goes well wide. So time continues to meander along in this game. Last 10 15 minutes. Uh, this game in particular really hasn't had a lot of, uh, how shall I say, uh, just. The vibe hasn't been there in this game, has it? The chances have been there for both sides, don't get me wrong, but it's been a game that has lacked vibes and any sort of intensity at any moment in time during the match. It's going to be a free kick. Yeah. 
Cross coming in for Una Chal. Goes behind for a goal kick. Seven minutes left. More subs coming Megalia's way, I believe. Number seven coming on. for Megalia clearing their lines are they going to settle for a draw here uh, I mean I'm, I'm not so sure either of these sides would like a draw in this game but I mean it does still keep them on with a shot going into tomorrow's and when and Thursday's game so I mean do they really want to be doing this I'm not so sure they do you know That's not a foul. Get up. Ball now for Rula Chal. Nice way to counter attack. Cuts inside. Tries to play the ball through, but good defending by Megalia. Offside. Five minutes left of this game. Plus, of course, whatever the referee wants to add on. Cross coming in. Not a bad one. Had to get that right. If he made a mistake there, it was 2 on 1 for Nagalia's favor. Good football there by Adonachal Pradesh. ball keeper comes out gathers good defending again by Megalia Wante Lang has been superb in between the sticks for Megalia today keeping his team in the match Trunachar Pradesh have been the better side in this game you have to give it to them they perhaps slightly edged it 60-40 in this uh, in this game considering the first and second half performances First half, perhaps it was more of a 50 50, but the second half, it's uh, Dhruna Chapradesh taking, uh, taking uh, the initiative to try and win this game. As like I said, Wante Lang has been really good in between the sticks for Megalia. Nice football there by Megalia. Ah, oh, confusing everyone, he even confused himself. Just uh, overran the ball there. Goal kick for Luna Chal Pradesh. Nice looking ball, overlapping run. Can he get there? The answer is yes, but again, the cutback is intercepted by Karkon Gard, I believe. It's been superb at the back here. Megalia now on the charge. Decent ball in. Keeper comes out. Lai read that. 
And, uh, well, thank God he did it. You're a Uttar Pradesh fan because uh, it was one on one. Good football here by the man in white. Ross coming in. Back post. Surely. Go. It's 2-1, and they thoroughly deserved it, especially given the resistance and the fight they put up in the second half. Megalia trailing, is that going to be the winning goal for Arunachal Pradesh? Well, if it is, pretty good football and a good, composed, calm finish in the end. Can't really blame anyone there. Absolutely faultless. Some pretty good football here by Arunachal Pradesh today. Played some really good stuff. So to one. That's a foul. So we're into had it on time here. <laughs> Gotta see the goal there once more, the second goal that has given them a lead. Two minutes have gone. Again, good football there by Arunachal Pradesh. Cleared away by Megalia. Three minutes left of this game. Foul. Come on, 
Just three minutes left here. It's another chance here for Arunachal Pradesh. Cleared away by Megalia. Good defending by Arunachal. Two minutes left. Decent looking ball. Won't get it behind it though. Just 90 seconds left in this match for Arunachal Pradesh to hold on and for Megalia to get something out of this. seconds, last minute of this game. Well, the best form of attack, best form of defense is a good attack, and that's what Arunachal Pradesh have done today, and that's what they're doing still currently. Attacking, taking the game to Megalia. Look at the pressing, look at the recovery of the ball. It is 2-1 for the men in white, and they're going to take a huge victory here today against Megalia. With just seconds left, 20 seconds left, 15 now. Referees had a look at his watch, a good old look at his watch. Chance here for another corner kick. Will there be time to be, or for this corner kick to be taken? It doesn't really matter because time's already up. And as far as I'm concerned, Arunachal Pradesh, the referee should blow the whistle for this now. Game's already won for Arunachal Pradesh if they keep the ball in the corner. Cross comes in, goes well over the bar. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? You're leading by one, you have time on your side. Let's keep the ball in the corner, guys. Have a long ball forward. Throwing to be taken by Megalia. Good defending. One minute already extra has been added on to extra added on time. That was a chance there for Megalia. And the game is going to die without chance. And Arunachal Pradesh are going to be taking a victory here against all odds against Megalia. They began trailing in the game, Arunachal Pradesh. And they turned this match around to win or to lead two goals to one. Already two minutes have been added extra to the five that we were told that was going to be added. And that is the end of the game. Joyous scenes for Arunachal Pradesh and despair and desolation for Megalia. 2-1 for the men in white. Folks, well, time for a sh well, lunch break. I was going to say a short lunch break, a lunch break. And uh, we are going to be coming back for the game at 3 o'clock between Mizoram and Manipur. So do stay tuned with us here at Sportscast India. In the meantime, do enjoy the other offerings that we have for you right now. We have Sepak Dakaro, we have table tennis. We have wushu, we have basketball, we have badminton, we have bengkang silat, and we have athletics, volleyball and boxing to be coming later on in the evening. 
So do join us back again at 3.30. Till then, stay safe and take care. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zhou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Don man expectation kuregi wo bishi bal expect kuri na span na medals kam bishi juti kina shi to bishi kuchi pa shi. This is my first experience, and then neither bra bishi jani shi. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bishi kuchi pa shi. Kushi kushi bra kimse. No tin sabi bi kushi bai she aro kushi bai ki stand na kia do. Alag district bra no tin officials kaam bi mili jene ko tha kiji kuri do bi experience bi. Na ka lumbi pal dai she di stand do. Sabi kan bi mam bawa lok pai she aro sir kan bi mam bawa tik pai she. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. 
and looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics in a positive way. Much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I am so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's something that's our own desire. So, in the coming years, to live in our own nation, to live, we can be a generation that will support the people of this country. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person. Of our state, do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us stand in the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy, and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she 
She didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglan Olympic SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the CM office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today. Promise that we will take part in the second Northeast Olympic Games 
2022 in Loyo competition, respecting and abiding by the rules that govern them in the true spirit of fair play without doping, cheating, or any form of discrimination. I'm winning the gold medal for Nagaland is Nekikule Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters. So the 1500 meters. Nian Sai Ki with the timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds. opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you.
for the Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers. districts, more than 2,000 sports persons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Waka. We have done extremely well. 
I am so happy for the players of Pak District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun mana expectation kurang juga, bisi bal expect kurang net. Tahun mana medals kan bisi jutek ini aja, tu bisi kucing pasi nasi. This is my first experience and then ni dia berapa bisi jenis ye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kucing pasi. Pushy pushy bra, kimi she. No, don't have to be pushy by she. I will push by the stand. Yeah, do. I like this trip. No, don't officials can we mini gene? But how can you create those experiences? No, call them big. Call that she just stand. So you can be mom bawa look by she. I also can be mom bawa look by she. I participated in the basketball, and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure, and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, sir. How about this one, sir? In the in the coming years, to live in the world, we must be not to live. We have young generation, and we must work with the young people. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association wants to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth.
Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Nagaland Olympic Association for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
different venues of the state capital. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this historic moment, which not only celebrates the spirit of sport, but also showcases the rich culture of the Northeast. To bear witness to the glittery commencement of the Northeast Olympic Games 2022, I'm winning the gold medal for Nagaland is Nekitole Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters. It's in the 1500 meters. Nian Tsai T with a timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds. opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you.
Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers. Sixteen districts, more than two thousand sportspersons, four thousand plus participants, three hundred and forty-seven medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zhou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Walker. We have done extremely well 
I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun mana expectation kurang juga, bisi balik expect kurang net. Tahun mana medals kan bisi jadi kena sih, tu bisi kucing pergi kena sih. This is my first experience and then ni dia berapa bisi jenis ye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kucing pergi sih. Kesi kesi berak kimsa. Nanti satu bit kesi baca aro kesi baca Pakistan ya aro. Alat distribusi nanti official kan tu milih je na. Kau tak kiri kuri aro bisik pelan sini. Naka lembik pal tak kisah di Pakistan tu. Satu kan bit mam bawa log baca aro satu kan bit mam bawa cek baca. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I am so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. The Olympics is the thing, sir. Our this was, sir. In the in the coming years, to live in our own country, to live, we can young generation can get support from the government. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth.
Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Nagaland on Big SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a good trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
commencement of the Northeast Olympic Games 2022. And winning the gold medal for Ireland is Nekikole Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters. Single 1500 meters. Nian Sai Ki with a timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds. opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you.
for the Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para-athletes, performers, artists, volunteers. Sixteen districts, more than two thousand sportspersons, four thousand plus participants, three hundred and forty-seven medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. 
I am so happy for the players of Park District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun man expectation kure ki wo bichi bal expect kuri na tahun na medals kam bichi juti ki na se to bichi kuchh paise na se. This is my first experience and then yeh jabra bichi jani se. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bichi kuchh paise. Kuchh kuchh bra. अलग डिस्ट्रिक्ट पर नितुन ऑफिशियल्स का मुझे मिली जिन्हें वो था कि जी करिए तो बिसे एक्सपीरियंस हुई ना कॉल लंबी कॉल टाइप से जिस टाइम पे सभी कंडी मां भावा लोग पाए शे आरा सर कंडी मां बहुत चुप रहे शे आई पार्टिसिपेट इन द बास्केटबॉल एंड मी एंड माय टीम हैव हैड अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस टू बी ऑनेस्ट वी गोट � I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's 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 in the coming years to live in our own school, we will have a generation of English corporates. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us stand in the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth.
Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglan Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the CM office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
of the state capital. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this historic moment, which not only celebrates the spirit of sport, but also showcases the rich culture of the Northeast. To bear witness to the glittery commencement of the Northeast Olympic Games 2022, I'm winning the gold medal for Ireland is Nekitole Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters. Still 1500 meters. Nian Sai T with a timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds. opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you.
for the Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well 
I am so happy for the players of Park District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun mahu expectation kuregi, bisi balik expect kuri net. Paham na medals kan bisi juti kena sih, tu bisi kuci pasi net. This is my first experience, and then ni deh berapa bisi jenis ye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics, it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kuci pasi. Kesi kesi berkinsa. Nanti satu lagi kesi baca atau kesi baca stand dia tu. Alat distribusi nanti untuk official kan dia milih jenah. Kau tak kiri kiri tu, bisik experience tu. Nak kalung di pal dah kisah di stand tu. Satu kan di mam bawa log baca atau satu kan di mam bawa cek baca. I participated in the basketball and me and my team I had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's the thing, sir. Hello, this was, sir. In a, in a coming years to live in a we have to be able to do it. We have to be Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association wants to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us stand in the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth.
guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Nagaland Olympic Association for giving me this opportunity to take part in for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today. In orange like jersey and be around. Two, second set, and three, 
A presentation on behalf of the organizers will be given out to our best special to express our love and gratitude. Before the players are introduced to their match patrol, we will all rise up for the national anthem. As a citizen of this very great country, India, the greatest respect we can give to our national anthem is by standing up where we are. Thank you so much. We'll be witnessing an exciting match between two powerhouse, football powerhouse of the country. Strong contender Manipur will be taking on another very strong, equally strong team, Israel. The players for the Manipur team are Jersey number 20, Siddharth Rana, Jersey number 5, Rotel Mete, Jersey number 15, Ace Apilash Singh, Jersey number 2, M. Devi Singh, Jersey number 4, N. Kapiraj Singh, Jersey number 7, N. Sushil Kumar Singh, Jersey number 8, N. Pacha Singh, Jersey number 9, Imar Son Mete, Jersey number 10, Samson Salam, Jersey number 12, W. Satananda Singh, Jersey number 17, S. Shubhas Singh, who is also the captain of the team. The substitute are Thomas, Mohammad Rohit, M.T. Rohit, Kenningham, A. Tom Joseph Singh, Suchanta, Loyang Kampa, and L. Pichal Singh. Okay, Ratan Singh is a team coach, and Luang Shangba is a team manager of the team. The players for Mizora are Jersey number one, Lal Wang Wakma, Jersey number five, Lal Mung Mawai Mawi, Jersey number four, Lal Rin Zola, Jersey number 22, Lalrat Puai, I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing your names incorrectly. I beg you to forgive me. It's a little difficult for us. Jersey number 12, Ramgai Sangha. Jersey number 23, Malso Longa. Jersey number 6, So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Cracker Jacker of the afternoon game, the biggest of the afternoon by far. It's Manipur in orange against Mizoram in blue and red, and I'm going to try and do a better job that the MC is doing on the mic and say the names of the players. Let's start with uh, Manipur first. Siddharth Rana, pretty simple one. Rojan, Meiti, Wahang Bam, Abhinash Singh, Denny Singh, Kabiraj Singh, Sushil Kumar Singh. Pacha Singh, Imerson Meite, Samson Salam, Sadananda Singh, and Subash Singh, the captain. And for uh, Mizoram, 
We have Lalmoa Nauma, Lal Moon Mawia, Lal Lin Zwala Kyangte, Lal Ram Gai Sanga, Malsam Luanga, Lal Biat Kanga, Van Lal Tanga, Isaac Malsam Kima, F Lal Kima, and Malsam Fella. I hope I pronounced the names properly, and I hope I didn't murder any other names out there. And uh, guys, we are going to start this cracking game. It is uh, Manipur against Mizoram. Mizoram against Manipur. Here, live in Chumoke Dima Stadium in Nagaland. It promises to be a great game of football to very very sight pretty much coming back from the santos trophy and having very similar teams and squads to what they just performed over there so it's going to be interesting to see how these two sides perform here today in the third northeast games or northeast olympics so welcome all of you my name of course is joel williams and I'm going to be your commentator, not just for today's game, but for the whole week when it comes down to football. So I hope you enjoy the spectacle that we have here in Sportscast India, of course, bringing you exclusively these uh, North East games live to you, to your TV stations, to your YouTube channel, to your mobile phone, to your tablet, wherever you may be, you are watching and enjoying this game. Don't remember to, uh, don't forget, sorry, to uh, like, subscribe, and share the page. Share the link of this game so that we can get as many people as possible to follow these Northeast Olympic Games. And, uh, well, it's a pleasure to see also the crowd in Chumoke Dima starting to creep in. We had a very good crowd in the morning game. We had a decent enough crowd in the uh, midday game. And now this one is the afternoon game. So we're expecting a bumper crowd here today in Chumoke Dima. As I repeat again, Manipur are in orange. Mizoram are in blue, and this is the big game of the afternoon. Of course, two powerhouses of Northeastern football, two powerhouses of Indian football. These two sides reached the uh, semi-finals of the Santos Trophy recently, if I'm not mistaken. So they have coming into this game with very similar squads, and here come Manipur initially early on, trying to create a first early chance on the ball. Number 10 now crosses the ball in. And that is cleared away by Mizoram as best as it possibly can. Ball is once again with Manipur, although that goes behind for a throw in for Mizoram. So Mizoram are in, sorry, yeah, Mizoram are in blue, Manipur are in orange. So it's a pleasure being here with you guys once more. It is the North East Games. We already had two very interesting results early on today with Naglin beating Tripura by one goal to nil. Last ditch win by the home side, Naglin. And Andhra Pradesh, sorry, Arunachal Pradesh, my bad, beat Meglaya by two goals to one in what was another good game of football. We've seen two very good matches so far we're expecting and hoping for a hat trick of games here today so I repeat again don't forget to like share and subscribe the youtube channel here at sportscast india to see all of the northeast games of course we have football we have basketball we have table tennis we have tennis we have athletics going on right now sepaktakro we have uh, wushu we have boxing we have everything going on volleyball tonight if you guys like volleyball i know there's a big following of volleyball in the northeast and of course today with me here in this particular stream we are focusing on the football it is mizoram in blue against manipur in orange number 17 subash singh of course plenty of experience in those legs there by subash singh has played in the i league before has played in the isl before he is an experienced campaigner as as is Malsam Fella, number 10. Plenty of people were judging him by his appearance and looks. Yes, he does look like a football player, but by God, he does play like one. Absolutely superb football player. 
and was a standout performer in the Santos Trophy that just recently concluded, just a couple of weeks ago. If you remember that cracking goal he scored from a free kick, yep, well, oh, he's on the pitch today. And he's looking to, to uh, take Mizoram to the Northeast Championship here today. Already Kumri Tonga to say Mizoram tennis a baller. I agree with you, mate. I saw the Santos Trophy. The, at first, of course, you might judge a book by its cover. But, uh, well, you don't have to, do you? Never judge a book by its cover, they say. And they're right. Malsam Fala doesn't look like a football player. Looks like a boxer. Looks like a wrestler. But, God almighty, Jesus Christ, he does play like a football player. He is an absolute baller, that guy. Paul is uh, with Manipur. Just goes to show. Go from Mizoram. Lost there by Malsam Fella. That's a commentator's curse over there. Mizoram get the ball back. It goes out of play for a throw in for Manipur. I do urge all of you to keep the comment section as kosher and as clean as possible. Ball now for Manipur, long ball forward. Nice spear to the box. Looking for a strike. This is number two, Danny. And that goes behind for a corner kick. Sorry, goal kick there for Mizoram. Didn't take a deflection. Five minutes in. Manipur nil, Mizoram nil. Good tempo to the game. That's all we can ask for under these conditions. It is, of course, three o'clock in the afternoon. Bang on. Afternoon tea time special we have here for you guys right now. It's a beautiful afternoon in Chumokadima, the heartland of Nagaland, of course. Another beautiful state in the northeast of India. Not our first rodeo here in Nagaland. Been here four or five times already. Ball for Manipur. Subhash Singh, the captain. Experienced player. Ball for Manipur once again. Although these two teams will be looking to go. I mean, Group B definitely is the strongest group, isn't it? Manipur, Mizoram, Assam, one of those three teams is going to be eliminated. And that would be a shame because they are strong teams. Then in Group A, you have Nagaland, you have Tripura, you have Arunachal Pradesh, and you have uh, Meghlaya. Oh, today, they are a shadow of the team that they were a couple of seasons ago. Not the Meghlaya team we're expecting, to be fair. Nagaland just scraped past Tripura today with a win that was not beautiful. It was more detergent, more than class, to be honest. Balsam Fella, nice control, looking for a return pass and uh, blocked away there by Manipur. I'm going to try my very best here today to mention the names of the Mizoram players. It's not easy, especially coming from outside, coming from Gibraltar. Nice turn by Malsam Fella! Oh, the big boy nearly opened the scoring there. He's a handful, isn't he? He really is a handful. If you look at football players along the years, very few have made it at a decent level. One that I remember is Akin Fenwa, if you know your English football. Adebayo Akin Fenwa was a bodybuilder and a football at the time for Wickham Wanderers in the Championship and League One. So second and third division in the UK and uh, he was a lethal striker. And some fella, every time I look at him and I do commentary work on his games, reminds me of Arkin Fenwa. Just because they don't look like footballers but they certainly play like them. Free kick for Mizoram, center circle, a foul on number four, Kyante. 
That's one of the easiest names to say there for Mizoram Kyante. for Mazzotta again. Good game of football, this one. So far, so good if you're a fan of the beautiful game. Mizoram, number four there, number five, sorry. That was uh, Mumawiya. Like I say, I'm going to try and say the names as best as I possibly can. And, uh, well, Malsam Fela felt a knee on his back there. And sporting handshake there by number five. I think that was one bum. Just shaking his hand. Two experienced campaigners. They know what it is to face each other already. How many times have Mizoram and Manipur come across each other in the qualifiers for the Santo Fourth? Pretty much uh, every single year, isn't it? So, free kick for Mizoram, the team in blue and red. Chance for Mizoram that hits the wall. Second opportunity and goes well wide. That ball went all the way to Walker District. So Vish Kiho is saying both the teams are strong with you. Both of them are strong enough to win this competition to be fair 10 minutes in. This if you told me today that this was the final of the Northeast Olympics, I would I would I would I would not even bat an eyelid. I would be like, yeah, fair enough. Good point. Both teams are perhaps the strongest in this competition. But you cannot look past also Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. They have points to prove also that they want to compete with the very best. Meglaya and Tripura, well, they don't look like, like teams that are going to be able to compete against the likes of Manipur and Mizoram and Assam, perhaps. Well, now with Mizoram again. Ball, but controlled and recovered there by Manipur. Number 15 here, this is uh, Abinash. That's a throw in for Mizoram inside Manipur territory. Ball lost there by uh, number 24, number 22, sorry, Lal Ratpoya. Covered once again, but it's a throw in for Manipur. <laughs> oh, for the men in orange, Subash Singh, the experienced campaigner Subash Singh. Oh, tried a little bit of a trickery there. The magician that is Subash Singh has brought many years of joy to different sides. And Malsam Fela there with the control on his bulky chest. Look at him go. Oh, what a ball that is. He's a Look, guys, he's a quality player, isn't he? He keeps on showing it and demonstrating it week in, week out. Ball for Mizoram. As I was saying about Subash Singh, has experience playing in the I League, of course. Played for different teams. Neroka, one of them. Also had uh, different spells at uh, teams in the south. And he's an experienced campaigner, Subash Singh. Or with Mizoram. Even MH is saying he's a commentator, Joel. Yes, he is indeed. 
pleasure to make your acquaintance. Subhash Singh there using his experience to shield the ball, and that ball goes behind for a throw in for Mizoram. 13 minutes in the game, lucky number 13. And we have 927 people in our YouTube chat. Let's try and get past a thousand in the first half, and then let's push on to one and a half thousand, guys. Let's try and get as many people as possible watching this humdinger of a game because, in truth, it is quite possibly what could very well be the final of this Northeast Olympics. These two sides won't meet in the semi finals if they make it through, but they will meet against each other in the finals if they do progress. And to be fair, from what I've seen from the four previous teams before them, it looks like Manipur and Mizoram are the two stronger sides in this competition. Nagaland, well, they can compete. They can be tough team to beat. But they did show they lack the technical prowess and technical competence to fight against the likes of Manipur and Mizoram today. And then, well, Aruna Pradesh, a lot of hearts. But again, similar to Nagaland, not the same level of technicality to these two sides. And then, well, Meg Lyer and, uh, and Tripura, well, not on the same level, are they? But this is going to be interesting, this game, to show, to determine who gets the first, uh, who spills first blood in this, uh, in this group. 50 minutes in. Odio Lansong Tung Odio saying, hello, Sir Joel, how are you? On our YouTube channel, I'm fine, my friend, I'm fine. Looking forward to commentating on this game and bringing you guys the best possible uh, commentary for this football tournament that we have in uh, Chumoke Dima this season, this campaign, this year. 4-4, Manipur corner kick. It's an in-swinger to the back post. Cleared away there by Mizoram. Throw in for the men in orange. Manipur turning the screws here. going to be a long throw no one's coming close to collect that AJ's well there with a the prediction Mizoram 2 Manipur 1 what is your prediction guys what do you think is going to happen in this game is there going to be a, a Manipur win a Mizoram win a draw as that ball gets flicked on do leave your predictions in the comment section just below here the actual video Let's try and see if anyone can get the right prediction. Ball four, Manipur and Mizoram tackling there hard. Good challenge as they're on number eight. It was on Pacha. Shot coming in. Easy save there for the goalkeeper, Lal Muan Mawa. I probably said that wrong, but anyways, such is life, isn't it? Mosam Fella trying to battle it out there. Couldn't get it done. And Manipur come forward once again. Gachuk the spiller is saying commentator, which is the team is Zoram of Manipur. Well, they're pretty much uh, pretty much level in it. They're very similar teams in quality and uh, Well, I was about to actually answer your question, but uh, Gachuk the spiller. But after seeing that last. Uh, the last comment you put, I'm not going to answer any more of your questions, mate. I do urge all of the comments to be respectful, please, on our YouTube channel. Don't want to be starting to ban people left, right and centre. Ball for Manipur. That's inside, good defending there by uh, Mizoram. But once again, this is number two, Denny. Infield to Subhash Singh. Toe pokes it over the bar. Carving Mizoram open there.
crowd is uh, starting to uh, roll their favorite players through. That ball goes out of play for a throw in for Manipur. Now for Mitsorum. 19 minutes in, still deadlocked at nil nil. Joseph Hakub is saying game intensity is higher than expected. Any changes from both the state with Santos Trophy squads? Well, I'm not 100% sure what the Santos Trophy squad was, but I'm pretty convinced that it's uh, very similar to what we're seeing here today. We're, I'm pretty convinced that we're seeing very similar teams for my and for Mizoram. So I don't think there be uh, there were many changes in the squad. Ball once again for Manipur. Shot coming in, goes well wide. So go kick for Mizoram. Like I said before, this is the big game of the day today. Manipur against Mizoram, two bitter rivals. play it's going to be a free kick for uh, Mizoram I think or a, a throw in I'm not 100% sure what it is it's going to be a free kick for Mizoram 21 minutes in still deadlocked halfway through this uh, first half Ball gets played in for Malsam Fella. Well, if it's one thing he doesn't have is pace, and that showed there. He's got a, a footballing brain that's second to none. And he goes again. Goes into the hands of the goalkeeper, Rana. Siddhar Rana. Distribution there by Rana is not uh, it's not good. Throwing for Mizoram. Back to the goalkeeper. Lal Mwanmawamauma. No clue how to say that name, I'm sorry guys. I do apologize. This will be a foul. No, it isn't. Referee says play on. Covered there by Mizoram. Flying kick, Shaolin soccer style. And the ball is once again for Manipur. Throw in for the men in orange. Number seven. This is uh, Sushil Kumar. He 
it is it is lal lal no nauma i'll get that right one day go forward there looking for uh some femme or some fella the ball goes out of play for another throw in interesting game and the crowd has come out in attendance to watch this cracking game because they know they know they know they know this game is big they know this game is huge and it has the potential to shape a lot of the situation in this competition. Ball for Mizoram. Ball forward. Like I said, I'm going to try and uh, get the Mizoram names and Mizo names correctly because. Manipura uh, names and surnames are relatively simple to uh, understand and to say. But the Mizoram ones are very complicated to say at times. So I am going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and uh, get them well as well as possible. Someone's asking me to sing from the commentator's box. No, I'm not. I'm not going to sing from the commentator's box. Come on, guys. For Manipur, chance for Mizoram over the bar by Siddhar Rana. Good save there by Rana. Throwing for Manipur. So we have Jay Poland Light, we have Rio Official Light, we had Narendra Modi Light in the chat before. I'm just waiting for Elon Musk Light and the rest to also join in this YouTube chat to make to complete the whole family, guys. Ball now back again to the goalkeeper Lal Naunauma. Is Autumn in possession. Game is heating up nicely. Number 22, Larrad Puya. Another free kick for Ms. Autumn. This game is boiling up, it's simmering up nicely. Another foul, and this is the position that uh, Malsam Fela scored for in the Santos Trophy. Don't let that body confuse you, guys. He is a killer in front of goal is he going to show that here once again Bizarro to take the free kick it is very interesting so, to watch this match Reb Ruata is saying commentators will be saying Lal Mwanoma alright then Lal Mwanoma I hope that's the right way to say Lal Mwanoma there you go country. cheers to that guys Lal Mwanoma wow so Malsam Fela. Unlucky there, hits the ball, replay again, and that goes uh, back to Mizoram. Autumn. 
Trying to put on the charge. Danny controls it. Lal Muan Noma. I'm getting that name right now. Lal Muan Noma. Wow, I need a crash course on how to say uh, the Zordom names. There you go. Ball for Malsam Fella. Look at him that. The grace of a gazelle he has. Ball for Denny again. minutes in this match. Pressure on money poured by Mizoram there. Ball we'll spread wide to number 11. Ross coming in. Easy enough for the goalkeeper. In. Ball in the center circle, that is Lalbiatanga. Ball again into the box. Mistake. And that goes, uh, oh, doesn't go out for a corner kick. But Manipur have the ball again, they lose it again. Throwing for Mizoram. There by number 23, Malsam Tonga. Off for Manipur. Well, that was an Azorum ball, wasn't it? Danny to take it. Azorum just switching off there for a second. Does go behind for a goal kick. Ball for my ball for Mizoram. Thirty two minutes in. Tempo of the game has dropped a little bit now. Both teams with that initial splurge of chances and the uh, Fire ins. Not to say they don't have that fire still, but uh, it's a bit more tempered now, isn't it? That's a foul. As clear as daylight. That's a yellow card seven now. Sushil Kumar. Manipur have two players already on yellows. They should be careful now. 33rd minute of the game. Still nil-nil between Manipur and Mizoram. Ball for Mizoram again. Looking for Malsam Fela. Ball for the Mizors. No foul, says the referee. Goes behind for a goal kick. Chance, chance here for Mizoram. 
Covering possession, uh, under pressure, Manipur under the court. Goes behind for a goal kick. Good throw there for Manipur. Cross coming in. Over the bar. Hits the top netting. Well, Rachel Hansen is saying Manipur's smallest state in India. No, no, it isn't. Um, that's Daman and Diu. That's uh, Puducherry, Lakshwadeep, Andaman Islands, maybe. actually smaller than the uh, also there you go facts 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 so five minutes left of this uh, first half Form is on him again. Well, some fella can't control this time. Free kick for Manipur. Which comes in. Shot. Deflection goes wide. So 38 minutes gone. Manipur nil no. That's a free kick. Now for Mizoram again. It's 
played in by Mizoram to the back post. Out for a goal kick. been an enthralling game so far just a minute left of this first half it has been enthralling it has been a very good game of football so far by two quality teams all is for Manipur again for a throw-in. Just a light football through from, my, from his order. Keeper comes out though, Siddhar Rana. sing yellow card here another foul there Manipur three yellow cards already for them ball gets played in for Mizoram, chance, oh, goal! 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 The big fella, Malsam fella, with the goal for Mizoram. At the half time interval in the dying embers of the first 40 minutes, it was a cross that came hey, in. It was not time. properly defended by Mani. Second ball, third ball. The keeper makes a hash of it. Some fella is on hand to plot the ball into an empty net. One nil for his order. And what a way to finish this first half. Manipur nil, Mizoram won. And it's a big fella, Malsem fella. Ball now for Manipur though, instant reply needed. Here he goes again, number 10 causing all kinds of problems for the Manipur back line throughout this game. Two minutes of added on time given. And that is the half time interval. Manipur nil, Mizoram won. Malsam fella with the goal at the, the is yeah, pretty much Manipur the tying end of that first half. Guys, time for a short the break as we get Mr. our composure Danish back together. Malsam fella with the goal. Mizoram won, Manipur nil. For a short 10 minute break. The commissioner is Mr. Kaguto Segose. This is the last match for today.
जन
So, welcome back to the start of this second half between Mizoram and Mani Bura. It is 1-0 uh, for Mizoram. Here so far in uh, Chimoke Dima in Nagaland, the beautiful state of Nagaland. So, once again, we're here for this uh, thrilling game of football. Let's be honest here, let's be frank, judging by all the comments I'm reading on the YouTube channel, this is more than just a game of football today. Let's not uh, enter regional politics here, but you do get the feeling that it means so much more than just 22 adult men kicking a leather ball around a grass field. So, there's been a substitution for Mizoram number seven has come on. So, number seven has come on for Mizoram. It is uh, Lalbiaklua. So, Lalbiaklua coming on for Mizoram. So, Manipur in Orange starting this uh, second half against Mizoram. It is 1 0. The goal scored by Malsong Fella, number 10. Another foul there by one of the Mani Border players who is being told <laughs> by the by the in no uncommon terms to just uh, keep his composure. Just like I urge all of you guys on our YouTube channel and YouTube chat to keep your composure. Ball for Mizoram. for Manipur, that is uh, Kabirai. Manipur in possession, long ball forward. It's clear there by Mizoram. Recovered though by Manipur. <laughs> oh, some fella with the ball. Chance for a second! Oh! oh, he's just come on, you know. Claudia Klua with a second goal for Miss Adam. A Malsam fella with a moment of genius to knock it onto his path. And boy, oh boy, it's Miss Adam 2, Mari Purnil. It is a second goal in as many minutes for the Mizos. It's 2-0. We're going to have a watch about that again. Just look at Masan Fela here once again, lads. Just look at him go. Look at the pass. I mean, if you take the ball back a little bit more, you can appreciate the pass by the big fella. Oh, my word. It's 2-0 for Mizoram. And all of this is done raveling in front of Manipuri eyes. Manipur nil. <laughs> Mizoram too. Wow, wow, wow. Who would have seen this coming, eh? Ball now for Manipur. This is number nine. Ball into the box. Number eight now. This is Pacha. Ball into the box. Looking for a Manipur head. It's instead of Mizo head. Ball again into the box again. Cleared away by Mizoram on the volley! Safely into the hands of the goalkeeper. <laughs> but 
if we have to see that goal again, we have to see from when Malsan Femme makes the pass. That is what what makes the goal beautiful. Look at that control. Oh my word, this guy is as graceful as a gazelle. Oh, he's a ballerina weighing 130, weighing 230 pounds. Another yellow card for Manipur. And this is getting out of hand for the Manipuris. They're not enjoying this partisan crowd here in Chumoke Dima. One iota as a physio just jog, jogs and trudges his way onto the field. Number 17 is down injured. That's, uh, I believe, Ramgai Saga. Well, we have to see the goal again, but we have to see it from the pass. Because that <laughs> pass was absolutely everything by Malsan Fela. What a game we have here. It is 2-0. Look at this. I hope this is a goal. I think it is, you know. I think it is. Let's watch the movement by Malsan Fela. Look at this. Controls it. And now look at the ball. Look at that. That's just beautiful. It's poetry in motion. This guy is a 250-pound ballerina. I can't believe it. Absolutely incredible. So it's a free kick for Mizoda now. In another dangerous position. Ball gets played in. Chance for a third. Oh, saved by the keeper. Ball now for Manipur. We're covered up by Mizoda. And they're really pumped up, aren't they, the Mises? They're pumped up like anything. Cleared away though by Ms. Autumn. <coughs> for a throw in. Hello, Sheikh. This is for. This is it. An announcement for both the supporters. Twitter team la supporters can get feel great say. Amiana team can clap me. Amiana support group will leave me. What a control, what a control. Malsan fella now. What magic can you produce this time? He goes again. Like all of us as one people. Amiana team support group me. Amiana. Yeah, but that's what I should lead on. Amiana get ground ready or I do what? Do what then? Players can get a support for me, Livy, but I can't push out for me. I do feel a support for Sibit and I dare say. Please take no clue what the MC said. I'm not a lot of the time. We're going to get moved to come early though. Ground ball, Livy, or I do what? I've got no clue what the MC has just said, but he said one people. Well. It's a bit detached from reality, isn't it? Ball by Manipur. Cleared away by Mizoram. Unfortunately, it is a high tempo game. It's a game that could be incensed at any moment, at any time. That's another foul by Denny. It's a clear foul. I don't know what he's complaining about, to be honest with you. Really don't know what he's complaining about. It's a foul. End of. Can't complain about that. This game has the potential to boil over any moment. <laughs> well, let's play it in. I suck Katrangs, but that is part and parcel of the game, mate. 
he said to the supporters not to say bad words to the players, but that's part and parcel of the game, I guess. If you don't want to be in the spotlight, right, then uh, I suggest you play domino, so you play checkers. Ball for Manipur now. This guy again, this is unreal. He is unreal. Oh my word, controlling that ball. It's just crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. Seriously, crazy. He is that good. He's just turning Manipur players inside out at will, Malsam fella. It's just incredible, seriously. Throwing for Manipur. Forty-nine minutes into this game. Ball for Manipur again. That goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. I'm not gonna mention his name because I completely forgot how to say the name. Another foul for Mizoram. And the Manipur players are not happy, but they have to control their temper. They have to control their anger issues here in the field today. Free kick for Mizoram. to the box keeper comes out oh that should have been three <coughs> Sudar Rana has been a sack of nerves today so has the Manipur side they have been a bag of nerves today and the crowd are doing their very best to have an 11th or 12th player on the field and if you just stop and listen, you can pretty much hear who they are supporting here today. Partisan crowd here in Nagaland supporting Mizoram, of course. And some fella again. All for Mizoram. Get away by Manipur, though. Football by Mizoram again. Some fella. <laughs> what a control. Another free kick by a Manipur player. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And it will go on and on and on until the player gets sent off. It's just, it's just simmering up. You can tell it's boiling up. It's simmering up. The referee is doing its very best to control the whole thing. It's not easy, is it? When you have a game of football, that symbolizes more than just a game of football, doesn't it? This is number four now for Manipur. This is uh, Kabure. Free kick this time for Manipur. Plays it quickly. Advantage given by the referee. And that long strike there by uh, number 10. That was Samson. Goes well over the bar. Look at this goal again. Just look at the control by Malsam Fela and the pass by the big guy. Look at the pass. Controls it, turns his defender 
And then look at the pass. It's just unreal. It's just unreal. That's what you call perfect hold-up play by a striker, by a number nine. It's just perfect. You can't ask for anything else from him. That shot goes well wide by Manipur. It's going to be a change here for uh, Manipur. Number 16 coming on for number 12. Sadananda Singh, his race has been run. He's gone. Here comes Zoram again. Out of play, throwing for Mizoram. 54th minute of the game. It is 2-0 uh, for the Mises. For Mizoram again. That's a lovely ball. Got some fella with the overlapping run. Look at the guy go. That goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Once again for Mizoram. He's on side here. Keepers come out. Some pass there. Side on side, side in the end. For Manipur, crossbar white. Oh, what a chance for Manipur there! Double chance. What an opportunity that was. 
for money for change 19 and 17 coming on seventeen and three coming off Subash Singh and Valal Tanga so a double change for Mizora and for Manipur Awesome fella, nice hold up play again. This time it doesn't work out there for Manipur. Not a good pass there. Some fella turning and twisting, gets the ball back again, chases the ball back again, he gets the ball back again, this guy is too good. Chance here for Mizoram, onto the edge of the box. Free kick here for Mizoram. It is all relatively easy right now for Mizoram. Looking to score a third. are dominating the team from Manipur. That's poor, very poor there by number four, Kyangte. Kick for Manipur. Taken short. 
Nice run down the wing, cross coming in, ball into the box. Get away by Ms. Horton. It's going to be a foul. Edge of the box, is it? Four minutes. Right. Free kick for money, Porter. That goes over the bar, no problem for the Misa goalkeeper. Ball there for Russell Fella. Good football by Mizoram again. Russell Fella. Oh, this guy's too good, man. He is too good. Kyungte. Russell Fella again. Zoram are just dominating this game. Absolutely dominating this match. Manipur coming back, 14 minutes left. Cross goes all the way to Bedan District. Well, the supporters here from Nagaland have a team who they like to cheer for. And that definitely is Mizoram. person is saying Jol, that's not my okay Jol, please read YouTube chats well I'm not gonna read all the hate and vitriol you guys are spewing on that YouTube chat although I do understand the animosity but still it's football and this is what it should be about it's football end of story end of discussion back to the game that's a foul, says the referee. Mm, the linesman didn't give it. Bit of a 50-50 one there.
Free kick for Ms. Autumn, 12 minutes left. Third goes wide. So it looks like Malsam Fella has been taken off. for Mani Ten minutes left of this game. It is two nil still for Mizoram against Manipur. A very good game of football so far. So young to, to take this uh, throw in. Well now for uh, Manipur on the charge. Zoran clearing the ball away. So ball now for Mizoram on the counter attack. It's four against four. Good defending. Chance! Mizoram score a third, and that is game set a match. Mizoram with seven minutes left. It's three nil, and it's a beautiful, cute little finish from a tight angle. The winger never gave it up, and it's three nil for Mizoram, and that is game set a match. Mizoram are taking three points and are laying down the law here in Nagaland when it comes down to football. They're laying down a statement. It's 3-0. Statement complete. Job complete. Demolition complete. Mizoram 3. Manipur 0.
So what a what a statement this is here today in Chumoke Dima. Nagaland 1-1-0 against Tripura. Arunachal Pradesh 1-2-1 against uh, Meghalaya. And now Mizoram are demolishing, taking Manipur to the cleaners here today. It's 3-0 for Mizoram. A triple substitution for Manipur coming up. It can't happen, triples. They've already made three substitutions. They can't make six, can they? They've already made three substitutions. They can't make six substitutions. How are they going to make six substitutions? They can only make five substitutions, can't they? They've already made three, 16, 19, and 17 coming on. How can they make six? I don't get it. They've just made six substitutions. Is that allowed? That's the first time I've seen that in a competition where they've made six substitutions. They've already made three. 16, 19, and 17 have come on. No, sorry, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> 16 and 19 came on. There you have it. My bad, guys. My mistake. My mistake. The 17 was for Mizoram. There you have it. You see, I have no problem in admitting when I make a mistake. They made five substitutions. My bad. Yeah, there you go. Fella trying to say Manipur confused the commentator. They, they did. Because the last subs that they made, they made it alongside the Mizoram subs. My mistake. My bad. That ball is straight to the goalkeeper. So they made five subs. My, my mistake, guys. No problem. I'm human after all. Thought they have made six, they've made five. Throw it now here for Mizoram. Just to clarify, guys, they made five substitutions. I mistakenly put number 17 coming on when he was a Mizoram player. So, yeah, my bad. Anyways, 3-0 doesn't change the fact that Mizoram are absolutely tearing this game apart today against Manipur. <laughs> See, the good thing is that you guys have been listening to the commentary. <laughs> Seventy-seven minutes in. That's behind for a corner kick. It's all about being superb today. Again, another delightful ball in. That's good clearance. Just a couple of minutes left. Plus, of course, whatever the referee wants to add on.
Oh, for Manipur, number 22 now on the ball. For all the experience that Manipur have on their team with Bidan, with, uh, sorry, with uh, Subhash Singh and everything. Um, they really have struggled to contain this Mizoram side. Halfway line, easy enough for the goalkeeper. So four minutes of added on time here in this game. enough there for the goalkeeper to gather. Sean Sanga is saying from my side who's the man of the match. Um, awesome fella, without a doubt. Scored one, made an assist. He's been superb. Superb. He's a, he's a, he's a big unit, but he's so good. He's just so good, isn't he? Graceful like a gazelle, bouncing his way through the Mizora, the Manipur defense like a ballerina. Skillful, it's just incredible. And he just, he, he doesn't look like a football player, does he? He looks like a, like a wushu fighter, or a boxer, or a wrestler, or something. But he's just, he is the epitome of the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover. He's superb. He's absolutely superb. Manipur are not going to be happy with this, that's for sure. Just a minute left of this game. Mizoram have steamrolled through Manipur today. So Manipur though, got away from Mizoram again. It's four against two. It could be worse. Yeah, it could be four. Could be four. Should be four. It's four. Go! Four is the score. As we saw them make it four nil against Manipur. Just to put the cherry on top of the icing, on top of the cake, 
that they're going to be having and enjoying tonight in their hotel rooms. Oh my word, what a statement, what a game. It's 4-0 for Mizoram. Mizoram for Manipur nil. And this has sealed the deal. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic. So beautiful. Like that song, right guys? So beautiful. So elegant. Just looking like a wow. There you go. Wow. 4-0. Well, what a game. What a game, what a game, what a game. job has been done and there it is players are delighted the fans even more so it's 4-0 for uh, Mizoram against Manipur it has been an absolute fashion well Tomorrow we have more games coming for you. We have more games tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow. What do we have tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we have nine o'clock in the morning, Mizoram against Assam. Eleven o'clock, Meghalaya against Tripura, and uh, three o'clock we have Arunachal Pradesh against Nagaland. Well, from my end here at uh, Chumokaidima. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with you guys once again uh, for this uh, cracking game. Malsam Fella, Lalbia Kula, and Lalwal Kima with the goals. So, guys, do take care. Stay safe. See you tomorrow. Have a great evening. And may God bless you all.